Yo. My boy is zero, bro. <laughs> you what up? What's good, Manked? What's good, Mutashio? Jump scared you had the tab open? Surprise! I am back. He instantly gets a tab. Man. What a, dude, if, it, honestly, if you're a mod, you should just not get ads. What up, Judicial? What up, Kenton? Already, 7 p.m.? What up, Kev? Yeah, this is the end of the stream. <laughs> I got on just to do this. Wait a second, it's not gonna be like yesterday's, right? Because I did it late at night. Actually gonna play something fun today at More League? Uh, I got a, got a disappointing answer for you. No way, that's true? What was I gonna say? Okay. Okay, first of all, do you think they'll even release the patch preview notes today? I feel like they haven't been doing it recently. Like yesterday, they posted that shit at like 9.30, so that'd be like in a couple hours. Oh, you told them to? Okay, nice. Because I want to see what the Quick Blades nerf is. But they haven't been doing it. And then I tried looking at Spider Axe's Twitter, but he didn't post anything. All he posted was that some April Fool stuff that were Nico related were on the PvE. So that makes me think the Kled skin is on the PvE too. But also, why? how come the PvE didn't update last week? The patch was last week. Why did, uh... Why didn't the PB update last week? Yeah, I saw that video with Zangief and Marisa. What up, Mark? They posted a few matches a couple days ago. That was one of them. What up, Gash? Kledskin? Yeah, there's an April Fool's Kledskin. So it, it should be on the PB now or today. Not now, but today or tomorrow, like soon, it should be on the PB because it should be out next patch. So I'm assuming that means the Nico rework is soon, and I'm assuming that means Nico is getting uh, one of those April Fool skins. So it might not just be Kled and uh, Kindred. What up, Enablance? What up, Dumb Stuff? What up, Pinky? Soon, soon, yeah. It's good, Benito. Why didn't I say anything about it? You didn't say anything about it? They announced it a while ago. They just only showed the uh, splash art. On my YouTube, there's a video of me watching it. It was like a, at the beginning of the season. At the beginning of the season, Riot posted like a video talking about what's coming this year. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you haven't heard it or seen it at all. I guess if you're not, if you haven't been playing League recently or following it. It's a fucking April Fool skin, dude. The candy one? No, no, no. It's like, you know, like the dog Fizz skin? And the cat Yorick skin? It's like that line. It's like it's like a cat and dog skin. Oh yeah, it is yesterday's. I knew it. I might play a Panther. The only Pantheon game I played was pretty good. Actually, I played him twice. But the one I played on stream was pretty good. Against that Camille, it felt pretty good. Can't win? I don't remember what I built. I definitely went Eclipse and Rue mana. I don't remember, I think the game was like really one-sided. Yeah, it's a joke skin. I mean, it's his only joke skin, really. I don't really count that Halloween skin as a joke, but... Yeah, it's, it's just a joke skin. The matchup list, bro. Go for Q chunks. Go for level up W, level 2, and then engage whenever you want. That's every matchup. Apparently, that's every Kled matchup in the game. Yeah, his clone doesn't matter. Don't even worry about his clone, bro. Just combo him. It does nothing. Nah, the only times champs get buffed for their skins are, are the popular champs. Usually doesn't happen with, with less popular champs. Kled is one of the least picked champs in the game. So I wouldn't expect him to get any kind of buff. Yeah, Riven got like a very small buff. But just, just so she can be in the patch notes. Uh, because she, get, she just got a new skin.
Did I really not get another buff? That'd be a little too much. Man, I keep getting auto-filled. I fucking dodged before I started streaming. Got another account. Got a bot lane again, man. I don't want a bot lane. What don't you understand, game? I want to go anywhere besides the bot lane. I should make a PU team. The first all rant. Um, I'm in queue, man. I'm in queue. I just had to dodge because I got a bot lane. Trust me, bro. I wouldn't say in queue or League of Legends if I wasn't playing. Definitely don't want to play ranked, so I don't want to do that. He'll tank the bot lane? Alright, nice. Every normal game in EUS is 15 minute surrender? Man, it's the opposite in NA, dude. People never surrender on NA. Uh, what's your IGN uh, Grove? I've already played it, though, so many times. Just not very recently. Actually, the last time I played it wasn't even that long ago, because I, I remember trying it on the new season. That's when I realized, like, how much worse it was this season. They call you Kevin. I know they do. Let's get a deal, Reese. Yeah, 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 Kevin. Let's get Kevin from Toronto. You of all places. Long time no see. I don't have Moxie, but I'm Life Ward. Hail GP Soraka Zig Singe. Who's even jungling? Singe? <laughs> it's Singe jungle? If the Kale goes AP, it's winnable. If somehow you can one-shot GP. Oh, on ARM? Yeah, it's over. Never mind. It's Liddy over. October? I've definitely played it since then because I, I played it on the new season twice. And it was just so bad. But you probably just weren't around him. I'll probably pick it again at some point. Like, I just played Cled Support again recently. Even though that's also pretty bad. They went well that game. You were playing against Renekton Melee Champ. <laughs> Did you have Prowlers? They're trying to take that away from you. What would you do against them without it? Sin Jungle not bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not the worst thing you could have on your team. There's a lot of damage to the camps. Yeah, I, I did play Naruto. I played a I played a bunch of count games. I even played a Marauder game. That's how far gone I was. That's honestly that's his worst scan. I, I'm pretty sure I've moved to that point. Count Cled and Sir Cled are honestly fine. They're just they're decent. I honestly think Marauder is his worst scan. Yeah, yeah, I played Nar. I remember because I was I was against like Garen and I was like, it felt so easy. I don't think the concept was that bad, but it just it's just not good. Like in game, it's just not good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't sound good. It doesn't feel good. I feel weak as hell. I don't like that skin. Marauders in. Are any of the Warden skins good? Are you gonna put Kled in a serious skin line? What do you mean? I don't think Kled needs only joke skin lines. He's not a he's not a like a hundred percent joke. Edgy dark, but every champ gets one though. Yo, what up, Uya Zero? Your third try at Masters promos? Yo, you got that shit. What are you worried about, man? I know you. You're not worried. You're not worried. Hey, what's your IGN? It's the same as your Twitch IGN, right? I saw you winning some games recently. I think that was you. Oh, wait, that's not you. I don't remember your name. Emo AD. I'm not playing that. 
Oh, right, you have the symbol. That's right, that's right. I have you on my other friends list. It's not on this account. Just an armor. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a throwaway skin line to begin with. I'm Marauder. Yeah, Sir, Sir Kled is, like, legit fine. Count Kled is legit fine, in my opinion, too. I think Marauder is the only actively bad skin that he has. The other two are just, they're just okay skins. That, the Marauder, I think, is actively bad. Which is disappointing. Because it sounds like he only has three skins. Now his next one is Dog. Kitty Cat Kled. Is it the sound? I just don't like the look or the sounds, but especially the sound. The sounds is what really kills it for me. The audio on the skin is really bad. Like his his voice sounds terrible. It sounds like he's underwater. And then his all of his sound effects, except for his ultimate, all of his like ability and auto sounds just sound really weak to me. That makes you feel really fucking weak. It's also kind of hard to even hear his W for me. It's like so faint. Sometimes I don't even notice how many W autos I'm on. Like, unless I'm counting, but like with the other skins, it's like you can just tell. You're just, you're just, you can hear them. Yeah, he's under, underwater. Yeah, it doesn't, it's just not, it's just not good. I wonder where, where a dog will rank on the skin. The, the Kled skin tier list. I wonder where dog Kled will rank. We might know soon if it gets on the PV soon. It's supposed to be on the PV soon. Has spooked at least one stream in Doc too. I I have also like a little bit of attachment to Count Clay because that's good. We won those tournaments with it, so it makes me it makes me, it has good memories attached to it. Duolingo, all right. The owl has come. He's come to check in. Respect, bro. Respect the grind. The sentimental skin. No, I'm the man. It's right. Of course, no. My queue times are illegal. Yeah, I know. It's estimated three minutes, but we're already at six. Now, it's crazy because for a normal person, this is so long of a queue time. Where if it pops soon, this would be a fast ass queue that we just got for me. Is LeBlanc broken? I think she's like super obnoxious. I don't know if she's broken tier, but she's extremely annoying and I think she's good. But I don't know about broken. Super broken? Nah, I wouldn't say that. Give me one losing matchup, but this is not what I'm talking about. That's not, that's not what makes a champ broken to me. I mean, Rengar Tav wins so many matchups. It's not the same. Like, LeBlanc doesn't put in as much work as a Victor or a Zero would. That, that's, what, that's what makes me not think she's super broken. Am I her weakness? It's like instant CC. But nah, who cares? Nobody cares about Wave Claire. That's like a calf excuse. When people say, wait, dude, nobody cares about your Wave Claire. Especially mid lane. What up, Moseka? I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, her weakness is that it's just point and click CC, fast CC. Now, you don't always have that on your team, which can be annoying, but if you do have it, there is something against her. Whereas, what's Victor and Azir's weakness? I can't even interact with them, ever. I, I have a better chance of fighting a, a Victor, or I have a better chance of fighting a LeBlanc than an Azir. I can't even touch him. So th those are super broken champs to me. Zed is super broken, I think, and he's also an assassin. How is that cheating? <laughs> you always say that's cheating, but isn't that what super broken is? I think she's I think she's good. Like I'm not saying she's bad. I just think there's there's actual super broken champs, and they're a lot better than she is. Dear says cheating. Nah, you definitely said this before to me. You said, oh, so you just bring up the best champs. Bro, that's literally the broken champs. She's really obnoxious, though. I agree. I hate playing against her. I hate when she's good. Wait, what the hell? They already have the new Verizion? 
firing leaves. Whatever, he just flayed away himself. You pop for a second. Wonder if any of those trying to play. Just got the diamond from his first time. There you go. 80% one rate, bro. That's nothing to do with me, bro. That's all you. Keep that shit up, bro. 80% win rate is literally all you speedrunning that. That's like, that's like, that was like my win rate. When I would climb to like challenge it. You're fucking speedrunning, bro. Wait, what's your, uh, what's your IGN? Let me check your account. That's pretty good. and AI for the body resume. I just want to look at his account. That's pretty good, 80%. Most people don't don't get that high when right. Unless they're smurfing. US. Are you diamond? Oh, I thought you were you were 80% win rate overall. Your clit is 80% win rate. A Quinn matchup, dude. What is a storm razor? Guy has your champ pool and Zoe <laughs> and a soul. How many games do you have? Like a 90? The Fizz. 100% win rate. Leave hour of the month. Consume and adapt. Was five pigs, one team, so himself too. He's going death cap. They lost with Mila on their team. Mila Seraphine. You know how unlosable that is. Devore. Okay. Yeah, good job, man. KDA is pretty good too. I feel like a lot of times I see Kleds climb, their KDAs are so bad. Like they always average like same kills as their deaths, or they have like one more kill than deaths. Which is pretty bad. Because Kled going one for one is like pretty bad. Overrating Mila relative to ACs. You don't think she's broken? I think she's like for sure broken. Dumpsters mantles. At least five better. Five? Hey, Kaisa Zaya are busted. I don't know if there's five better. I can think of I can think of two, maybe three. Oh true, Ezra. I forgot about Ezreal. I don't know. She might be more broken than Kayla, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I might have a better chance of killing Kaylin than Mila in a game-to-game -game basis. I'll give you Ezreal, though. I forgot about Ezreal. That champ is ridiculous. Kaylin stomps lion. That's true. I mean, Mila can win lane too, though. She usually plays, like, kill lanes. Kled... I mean, I feel like in general. But yeah, obviously I'm mostly on clip. But all the champs I play are melee and auto attack. <laughs> and they all can't kill her. Yeah, but nobody picks her, though. That's, 
people are slowly picking her more, but like, she's not picked that much. Oh, I got lost. Easy 580C is better than Neela. I'll say there's a, there's three that are pretty broken too, but I, I don't know. I think she's close to them. I don't think it's like so far apart. I think she's she's right next to them, to be honest. Yasuo... Wait, what? I think Neela is the real 200 years Yasuo. It's just that she literally is male. What do you mean she's like the 200 years Yasuo? Oh, there's fly. <laughs> Nah, I can't win. I couldn't even stop the Salamence from setting up. Karthus, Vagar, Vagar, Ziggs. Nah, come on, bro. Ziggs is, is not better than Neela. There's no way. Oh, as a bot laner, bro. What? Yeah, obviously. No, nah, Neela is definitely better than Yasuo, but. Now I'm offended. What? <laughs> Come on, who's comparing Yasuo and Neela? Neela's broken, bro. At least that's what I think. I think she's busted. Now, Yasuo is good, but I don't feel like, wow, this is the most unwinnable game of all time if a Yasuo is, is like, fed. Whereas I feel like a Neela fed, yeah, there's, this is gonna be fucking hard. Cho Senna. I don't care. I still think Cho guys sucks. I don't know. It's too hard for me to take that champ seriously. He also has better early mid. Nila wins later. Nila's scaling is insane. Yeah, Yasuo, I mean, Yasuo, like, I guess, that would maybe has more kill pressure pre-6. Nila, Nila ult is pretty good, though. I wonder if people go quick blades more on Neela than I probably, right? Can keep her W, get her W up more often. I'm assuming it buffs her Q buff too. I'm pretty sure he kills me. I need priority. The thing is pretty broken. I'm honestly just clicking though. Have I tried level 1 Hurtada Elite 4? Elite 4. You beat, beat the Elite 4 with a level 1 Rattata. I know the Rattata strat, but I've not done it against the Elite 4. Vayne broken? They're buffing Vayne. She's not as broken as other ADCs right now. But she is annoying. And obviously she shits on Kled. Is Cassante still OP? Yeah, I think so. But they have nerfed him. Yeah, I tried to get a burn, but it didn't happen. Do I just lose, bro? How come all these people get all these setup Pokemon? Can't do anything now. I'm assuming he has the same set as me. Oh wait, never mind. I don't even have swords in this. Can I even kill him, dude? Am I going to EU? Maybe one day I'll travel to Europe. That'd be cool. But not soon. I wouldn't play a league there. Man, what is this, dude? Dude, our queue time was so long for Scion Riven. It was almost a fucking Kale. I don't even know what's worse. That, that's where I'm at right now. I don't even know what's worse, Riven or Kale. And my Crookedile is fucking intimidated, dude. Give me these trash-ass moosets. Scarf, though. If I was Moxie, I could win right now. Uh, I meant to pick Pantheon. Whatever. Just auto locked in. I mean, surely it's like. Oh no, it's Nidalee Jungle, right? Like a Riven mid or something? I wasn't even paying attention. I think it's Scion Top, right? 
Uh, we're always in the wrong way is that Yone randomly has one of the highest team fight ults for no reason. I mean, it's really random. They just want him to be a good team fighter. I, I, I hate Yone for a lot of reasons, but I mean, he's supposed to be a good team fighter. Yeah, it wasn't, it's not really random. He's just, he's just meant to be good at team fighting. He, he has a lot of AoE CC and damage. But I also don't like Yone, but not for that reason. You also got the random team fight all. Nah, Yasu's all not the same. His revival blessing, yeah, for sure. Has he used it? Nah, not yet. Like, why do I have a fucking Ferrigiraf? Can I do a Shen game? Nah, I actually have never played Shen. I don't know, he's just a champ I've never been interested in. I wanted to pick Pantheon this game, but I fucking just like AFK locked in Clid, not paying attention. Ever Frost Clid. <laughs> True. <laughs> seen everything on Yasuo except crits? What does that mean, man? You've never seen him crit? They go Cleaver Bork. <laughs> Cleaver Bork Yasuo. Yeah, he's reviving. Yeah, Yoni's abilities are not really random. He's just he's just overloaded, but not in like a random sense. He has everything he would need to have. It's my property, all sixty gazillion acres of it. Dude, I wish they gave me Moxie perfect now. I need to get off this random battle. I gotta make a PU team. That's why I got on. DD. So you know what game I was playing recently? I haven't played, I have not played Mario Kart in years, legit. Like, uh, the Switch Mario Kart, I've not played it in years. But literally, watching, watching the Mario movie trailers made me want to play Mario Kart again. And, freaking, uh, they added, like, they added a bunch of stuff to the game. They added a fucking Yoshi's Island map, dude. How come our bowling just double killed? Samira Thresh? Couldn't beat Caitlyn Ash? You know, maybe if they had Cleanse Exhaust, they could win. It's pretty embarrassing if Caitlyn Ash beats you on level 1. Fled in the top lane, I know. Do you have enough on Silas? Caitlyn over Nilo. There's just so many bro. And then Draven, I think Draven's also broken. I feel like uh, there's just infinite broken ADCs. And then Ash got like a really good buff last patch. And then she, apparently they're buffing ADC Ash again. Like I think Kraken and Bork Ash are gonna be spamming that too. Like there's just, there's infinite broken ADCs, man. What song is this? It's called Petal Meadows from uh, Paper Mario. Thousand Year Door. Two chunk on there, he's chunked. Consider him chunked. Yeah, Twitch. Like, bro, there's such an, you. This is literally why it feels like there's no point of even banning ADCs, because they can pick any of them. <laughs> any ADC they pick, I'm like, alright, that looks like a broken champ. There's so many of them. And they all do, like, similar things, so it doesn't even feel worth the ban. I think I think Nilo's broken, yeah. The way the items are right now. I know. Man, he lived forever right there. I can't fight him and pass him, obviously. Kicks my ass. It's not gonna TP. Oh, he did. Well, I didn't even see the animation. I was trying to watch the tower. Bane can be picked top, that's true. So can like Lucian Trisk and Solo Lane. And people are playing Draven and Solo Lane a bit in Ezreal. You don't see them that much. There's gonna 69 <laughs> Supreme King 420. Good name.
Yeah, Neela becomes ridiculous. Neela is just one of those champs that like, she just checks your comp. Like you either have a way to do something against her or you just don't. Super Galaxy is not using Rumble in the jungle. I hate those kind of champs. It feels like you gotta beat them in draft like before the game even goes in. I didn't spam him for one more auto from him, he would have killed me. You look so hot. Hey Madden as. We weren't talking about that. Phase rush. This guy's gonna go full AD. See a jump. Man, she gets the assist because she healed them after he damaged me. That shit is that. I know how lame is that. She procs her dark silk too. That's pretty lame. Only by her design. Alright, man. I guess I can respect that. Yeah, I got the gold reset. Let's go. Anyways, what I was gonna say is I need to see who's trying to play Mario Kart. That I've been playing. I don't have trouble Oof. communicating. Words is just treacherous bastards. Remake looking good. Oh yeah, dude. Capcom is taking a lot of W's this year. Which cart? Mario oh, Kart. On the switch. AD sign is garbage? Yeah, obviously. It's just like a meme build. Okay, a full 300 because of the kill he got. Most boring AFK lane? Probably Singed. Or... A Jace or something. But Jace kind of just kills you. Singe is like you're against nobody, so... I feel like it's in. Rengar, yeah. There's a few lanes where it feels like you're just sitting on tower. Yo, what up, Chatter? How's it going? Okay, I got it. No way. He stunned all my minions. I could still get the cannon. The rush killing. Killing? What happened to the level 1 double kill? So you're telling me bot lane makes sense. It has never once made sense. Our bot lane started with the double kill. What do you mean, thresh killing spree? I got the high ground. He ulted to lane. I thought he was gonna ult me when he queued me. Why is Singed not played in the jungle? Because jungle is just a roll where only the most top tier junglers are always picked because they clear so much faster and healthier than any other like subpar jungler. So it just makes him infinitely better because jungle is such an important role that you don't want to be picking something that's just an okay pick. You want to be picking the best. Or you're holding your team back. Just, he's doing the proxy, but he's doing the emote. He's lucky I'm not an AP champ. Like, I need to only pick AP champs against him. I can buy Mejas. 
Like, I'm always against Inscion. 274, yeah, he's slowly getting worthless now because he keeps dying. Yeah, I, 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 dude, I literally thought about it. I was like, I should ult him so he doesn't get this cannon. TP animation's bugged. I only saw the very, like, a very small part of it right there. Yeah, I know. They're lucky I don't have my AD, my Jez. I'd buy it. One in five. Well, it's because he got a kill. He, I killed him a few times, then he got a kill, so I reset his gold. And also, he's farming. You know, it, it goes off of your, your farm gold, too, when it decides your kill value. True, I do have a sack. You're right. I get a couple sacks off him. He really wants to finish his call. Holy. Get the Starsh Bounty. Flame Spinner. Please back up. The Hydra kill. Efficiency with the AoE. It blinked on your screen. At least a buggy champ. Looks fine on my end. Good on my end. You do come up with the best ideas. But I dismounted MIDI. The big AoE. People say that in fighting games, like when you're playing against somebody and they're super fucking laggy, it's like unplayable, and they're just like, oh, it's fine on my end. Ah, that was good for me. This is lane swap. This ribbon is just bot. There's bot lane goes mid. It looked normal to me, and I wish I could TP to save you. Or at least, like, be there. Gotta TP here. One day they'll change it. Why they buffed Riven? They even said why. They they buffed her because she got a new skin, and they literally said that in the patch notes. That's why it was like a minor buff. It wasn't that impactful. But it was just, it was just so that she could be in the patch notes, showing as a buff. If people would want to play her and pick her. Yeah, they literally said it was a cosmetic buff. Like, essentially. It doesn't change much, but just to, like, bring awareness to Riven. Because they want people to play her and buy the skin. I mean, it's pretty obvious. When they do a change like that, it's pretty obvious why. It's like a, a very small buff, not, not too big of a deal. But it's, like, random. Like, Riven obviously doesn't need any buff anyway. It's just because she's getting, like, a nice... It was a pretty... It's a nice skin, so it makes sense. Probably gonna sell a million, billion. A lot of kills in this game, dude. In 12 minutes. The plating's still up. There's been so many kills. The crit clit is okay, but crit sign is drawing. I mean, crit is just strong. The problem with sign is he has no mobility. So he's just a full damage squishy champ then. I guess he gets a lot of HP, but... More billion. I did not say that, but he should have said it. This champ needs a buff every patch. I said, you know what I saw someone say today? I saw someone say unpopular opinion. I think ADC was fine before the buffs. Bro, that's an unpopular opinion. I'm, I'm in the wrong place, bro. How do you fight Mundo? Well, if he if he walks up early, you just kill him. He's really squishy. He can't get you off of him. You can easily proc his passive with your Q and then use one of your E's to just step on his, you know, his thing, his flask that he drops, so he can't pick it up. Um, in an early game, he's really squishy. So if he walks up, he just dies. Now, what he should do is not walk up and just Q farm, and you can't really block his Qs because they're magic damage percent HP, but they chunk you pretty hard. So uh, if that's what he's doing, then you have to just wait till you have Ravnus and just push him around. It's the only counterplay left at that point. 
Making a lantern. Took so long to do it, I wasn't sure if we already used it. Exclusive face melter. Beast. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, but especially just the Kledge because of the way he is. Negative MR plus the percent damage incident. I know, Ace. Killed him bot lane too, let's go. Suspicions, ain't they? Rampage. Come here, man. You're not juking this. Or she was juking it. They, they're trying to juke him like against the corner. People do that a lot. But they juke by like standing still, pretty much. But I have no reason to throw my ability yet. I'm just walking at her. Is that the guy that voices a uh, Spider-Man, right, in the PS4 game? Dude, where's the Venom game at? Spider-Man 2 with Venom. All that hippie hop. Getting on my nerves. Yeah, I like that guy. There's so much money this game. Oh, back. Keep having to back. Yo, what's good, dragon? E, what up? Juke the Kled W. The Twitch crashed after typing that. <laughs> he said, alright, I'll say it. The Twitch crashed. Enough messing around. It's hot. Get rocked. Consider yourself rocked, punk. What rank is this? I don't know. The Samir is D1, so it's like Diamond Master's ELO. That was a D1 player right there. Reform Stream. The Krugs need some kills too, bro. Where do you think they get all that gold on them? You gotta feed them. Yeah, that guy's a D1 right there. You gotta remember what server we're on and what season. Don't forget that, that Challenger Fiore we played against yesterday. That fumbled the 20 kill Ezreal game. And there you go. Audited. I swear it's not gold, dude. Come on, man. Is that his current rank or he just made that up? Yeah, that was a free win. That was actually a free Like, regardless of everything that was happening, I, that was like, we were definitely gonna win. Like, we just knew. Why don't she win while there? She's probably just trying to guess when I'm gonna throw my kill, even though there's a like, clear animation. I don't wanna watch Rage Compilation, dude. I have nothing against SRO, man. He's a nice guy. Not trying to make fun of him. He lost on Kled. He was 17 6 and got demoted. Yeah. The power of Kled. The new voice. What the? Away from me. All that hippie out. He is nice.
Get on my nerves. I can TP. I do not lose me. Oh shit. Alright, he's prowled on. Harold is ending the game, sweating. It's on your nerves? Come on. There is this one, uh... What was this? Some kind of tournament. And some kind of league tournament, or Riot one. And, uh... His team was like the only team scrum. We played against them a lot. A lot of the other teams wouldn't respond. But they didn't want to scrim more than once. My Kate's building. A lot of ADCs are going bloodthirsty early. I don't know about this order on Caitlyn, but I don't know. Well. I don't know. Pretty nice. Hello. Why'd I queue into that? It's full AD too, it is no damage. Only when he's in his passive do he do damage. Is it only crit autos that lower cooldown? Yeah, with quick plays it's any auto. Oh, you don't have to crit. Just all autos. Lower cooldowns with the item. Um. Long time no see, yo, what up? We're doing well. Listen, Bloodthirst are made to be worse early. I think it's just better, like, all the time. I think it's just it's just better in general. Yeah, Diane. I don't want to say it because uh, there's somebody else I know that has like a similar name, but their name is their real name is Diana. I don't want to say Diane or Diana because I was like, fuck, I don't want to say the wrong one. No, I do remember. Level 9 isn't early. Yeah, I like second item. And I see like Aphilios get that shit first, but I think a second item makes more sense. No, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't quit. I never quit. I don't stream one day. That's what my viewers say when I don't stream one day in a row. Ah, this is moved on. What the heck? I just know that I could have blocked it more. Wait. I have to pay for not doing it now. Do I still have you on my main? I like never log in my main account. I should though. Am I the only one who thinks Warwick is kind of busted? Yeah, I think he's pretty bad. I think Warwick is pretty bad. He's just that in lane, he beats like a lot of melee champs. So you're supposed to just not fight him in lane. Like, he's not that good of a champ. I don't think. I don't know if I can really do this. Lane. Doesn't seem that real. Oh, that's actually so close. If I had more health at the beginning, you'll get it before it resets? It's over. Okay, it's partial. Whatever, dude. If I had more health, I could have done it. I just wanted to limit this. I started a dismount Think about that. And it was actually kind of close. So if I was mounted at the beginning full health, I could have soloed it. You hit Master Thirst for the first time? Yo. There you go. That's pretty fast, because we're only, like, two months in to the season. We speed ran that shit. Congrats. If I had, if I had four... Uh, actually, unironically, it was actually that close. If I, if I was just not low when I started it. Your D2 now? Oh, you had it last one. Yeah, well, you gain, you gain and lose so much LP now. 
Like someone else told me they were like, they hit diamonds the first time and then they got all the way to gold. I was like, oh my goodness, bro. But you just gain and lose so much LP now, it's fast. It, it's easy to speed run a rank, like a direction. Go like mad up or down. I don't think I'm living this. Ugh, they, honestly, if he, he didn't have a collect. Yeah, they should all die now. He executed me mid remount. Probably was a win auto, like, unless I crate you or something. Oh, you got master before the chain. Yeah, that shit was like, what, one or... It was only one or two patches ago. I know, they have a little bit. A little bit of knockups on their team. Also, I got ignited. I got double ignited. Yo, where the hell is the rest of our team? Can we just do better? Yeah, Collector busted, man. Collector used to be able to kill Trendomir in his ult, but I think they fixed that. Did for so long. The <laughs> tenacity saves you. <laughs> yeah, that's 20%. I haven't seen our ball in all game. <laughs> yeah, we're in boss rush mode. I don't know why they did that change. They just wanted people they wanted people to see progress more often. People who like you know are close to 50% win rate. They want you to move more often, move ranks. My ult made sure, but I didn't even hit the ring. My ult did the sign. Whatever, maybe they can end. It's only in Italy. The name of my mid laner? I don't know how to say that, man. The Hangushe? That was the weakest Caitlyn I've ever seen, actually. I Penta there with Tavai? Yeah, I took all magic damage. At least that's what killed me. I have enough at Mara though. I don't know, that Caitlyn will do nothing. She has no items. Weak items right now. I don't even know why I have this call fields. My jungler? His name's just Gabe, man. You know, like, uh, the guy that... The guy of Valve? Just lock it in. All I did was throw one move. What the hell? No way. Where's my red buff? They're all trespassers. We're just killing them by first. Wait, they released the patch preview? Or are you talking about on uh like spider axis sweater? Like, did Riot? Like, Riot posted it? Or it's just on PB? Because I think the, the Kled skin is supposed to be on the PB soon, too. Bro, who just instantly pounces in? What? Even makes sense. Look how long it took those minis to hit that tower. Has problems. <laughs> Alright, hold on, I'll check him right now. Oh, so they did post that a little bit earlier than uh, yesterday. Good. Okay. How many counts do I have? <laughs> I have like 10. 
counting this uh, this like elite partner account they give me. They give you two every season, but I only have one right now. Bane gets more passive move speed. QAD ratio is wait, it's like way higher from 60 to 80 to 75 to 115. Wow. Oh wait, her W is more early, but less like you know. They want you to max Q, I guess. So they want her to go that crit build again, probably. Yeah, Riot gives you two level 30 unlocked, like you have everything on it, accounts if you're in the if you're a league partner. Whoops. I'm gonna do that. Um Galio is equal then is one second less. His W gives him more damage reduction, 5% and then more CLN. That's okay. I wish Kelly's base armor wasn't so low though. That was Vayne not an adjustment? What do you mean? Because it's way more of a buff. Now I see what you're saying for these two parts, but it's still definitely more of a buff. But yeah, I, 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 they could have put it under adjustment though. Ash. Yo, Fido Boy. Thank you for the 57 months, brother. Appreciate it, man. I know, Vayne. Thank you, thank you, man. Hope you're doing well. Well, at least it seems like they want her to go, like, crit items. I mean, I don't think 2% less percent HP damage is gonna make people stop going, like, the way they build her now, which is, like, a lot of defensive items. Talon. Passive damage. Up. W mana cost. Down. R damage. Up. Alright. Yumi. Two cooldown is lower. Well, you max it, you cost more mana, goes less distance, and it's slower, and her- wait, her R doesn't give any resist? Yo, wait, that's actually good. Her, yeah, her R, her R could give you 100 armor and MR right now if you had some, uh, if you had some stats. It's not gonna give you any armor and MR? Wow, that's actually good. Yeah, thank god. They, at least they instantly got rid of that, because that was really dumb. That you could give your ADC 100 armor and MR, like while shielding them and everything. And they are sitting on a bunch of shields too with like Bloodthirst or Overheal. Alright, Aurelian Soul is equal now and is just always 12 seconds. I mean, you max his E last, right, anyway. Stardust required, it takes more Stardust to get the big ult. So R1 stuns less, R2 knocks up quarter second less, you can cast it at less range. Yeah. Uh, Nasher's Tooth is- wait, wait, someone said this yesterday, it actually is gonna give 15 haste? Wait, but it costs 200 more gold? I don't, I don't know if that's- see, that should have been under adjustment, dude. What the fuck? 200 more gold for 15 haste. That's- that's an adjustment, that's not a- that's not just a straight buff. Any day? Nah, I don't think that's worth. That's not worth. I, I would have rather taken nothing if this was the change. But, whatever. That's pretty cringe, though. And I only play one champ that goes Nashers. Dragon kill buffs reduced. What does that mean? Or I guess there's going to be more details later. They change blasting? Oh, like in the build path? Uh, Lich Bane is 3k, right? No, it definitely is. It's the same price as Nashers, yeah. Uh... Bloodthirster, shields, so it just shields a little bit less, really, because people are building it early. It just shields a little bit less in general. Quick Blades, 3% less cooldown fun. Right, you know how, this is what I said, I knew ADC, I knew these ADC nerfs were not going to be anything. This is so irrelevant. 3%, you know it refunds, you know how it refunds your cooldown too? Asher's Giga buff for Gwen, 15 haste? I mean, Gwen gets how much haste? Her, her mythic gives her haste, and then like if you go Zanya's, that's like three haste items. It freaking it reduces your cooldown by the current number. It doesn't reduce the like 15% of the total cooldown. Like if your ability has a 10 second cooldown, it doesn't reduce that by 15%. It reduces by how many seconds are left. So 3% less, bro, you're like almost never gonna notice that ever. So that's good for me because I still be I build quick play, so at least at least I don't care that much. That's like an irrelevant nerf. Lethal tempo gives you less attack speed early game, 
a little bit less. Wait, max is at level 12? Oh, but it takes longer to scale. That actually matters a little bit. Bloodline, bruh. That shit gives 5% of life still. It still gives health. They should just take the health off, man. What's the point of that change? Whatever. Bloodline didn't need a nerf. Overheal needed a nerf, not Bloodline. Yeah, I don't know why they nerfed Bloodline. Should remove Lethal Tempo from the from the fame. What did Lethal Tempo do? Oh, from the game. <laughs> well, I mean, overall, what are these changes? Overheal is unreal. Oh wait, I skipped the Vagar. He has 25 less base HP, 3 less armor, 18 armor, and his W. Okay. Well, the W damage doesn't matter that much, but you do max it last. Uh, I think it's fine. You have more range, so it kind of makes sense they are a little squishier. And the W is not that big of a deal. So I think he's still fine. Yeah, they didn't touch his range at least. I think that's okay. This is really just a nerf for like bot lane Vagar. Bot lane you'll get punished more. Like you can get punished more. You'll get like flash filleted and then you'll just get one shot real quick by the ADC. Alright. Well, nothing too crazy here. What'd you say about the Spider Axe version? Amp Tome replaced by Fiendish. So it's Blasting One, Recurve Bow, and then Fiendish. Oh, here's the Dragon Nurse. The first one's supposed to be Hexec. So Hexec's haste and attack speed is reduced. Oh, this is by how many stacks you have. So it gives less haste and attack speed. Dragon, 1% less. Mountain resist, 1% less. Ocean dragon, a little bit less. Well, the way it is now is it's just 9 of both. It's 9 haste and 9% attack speed. So I just, just assume it just says... It would just be seven and a half haste. So you have 0.5 haste. Chemtech and Cloud unchanged. Surprised I didn't have Chemtech. This guy literally can't read. Didn't say anything about the souls. Trash, so he's talking to me. He's calling me trash. Yeah, Chemtech is good too. I'm surprised they didn't, they didn't they didn't all get nerfed. Yeah, especially Chemtech. Oh yeah, here it says it's reduced, but the rider post said removed. I mean, I'm inclined to believe that they're removing it then. But 1% is that that relevant? I mean, it's just a small nerf. It is a small amount. Alright, enough of that. With the Zeri nerf set. Oh, there's too many ADCs, I got a nerf. Time for the replies. Overheal is the problem, not Bloodline. I like Galio. Nerf Gragas Jungle, bro, what? Who's mad about Gragas Jungle? Does Zeri nerfs get pulled? Or the Nila nurse? Will you ever consider disabling Yumi? Well, what kind of dumbass question is that? They're not gonna do that. The fuck? <laughs> Had Arena found it. Had Arena? Bloodline is so fucking bad. I dare say Vayne becomes a total powerhouse after this patch. K 
Hail becoming unplayable, huh? Why can Yumi be invis on Twitch? Oh, well, I don't know. How else would it work? So she would just... Wait, did I DC? I DC from my elite client. Hello, hello. My leak says I DC on there, but I think I'm okay. Hail unplayable. People gotta go AD Kale, bro. It's a fight of winning Kale, really? I feel like Kale is really good, but the AD Kale is way better. A lot of people still try to go to AP build. Remove Yumi. Just remove Bloodline. Replace it with Armor Pen Rune? Yo, I wish. 1% armor pen is more useful than this shit. I wish there was an armor pen or in, bro. But how, what number would it be at that would be balanced? Buff Talia. That's a mistake. Her mobility is about to go through the roof. 1 to 10%? Yeah, that'd be good. The pen rune would be so enchant champs like Jax. Nah, I like, can't give both. But it would have to. It would have to be one. It, how would it even work? Yeah, because it's not gonna be one. It would have to be like. It have to be hybrid. But would it really give you? Can they do adaptive pen? Like just off of what what adaptive sat you have, like either AD or AP. Maybe it could just be adaptive. Just a Lee League. <laughs> Alright. Make it scale with level. I, I wish there was an armor pen in the game. Tessa was mixed, but it was too disruptive and strong. Yeah, it'd have to be adaptive or something. Just go off of whatever your adaptive stat is. If your adaptive stat's AD, then armor pen. Otherwise, magic pen. Yeah, don't just don't even do mixed. Necroside doesn't like the nerf. Direction. Fame buffs? Absolutely not. Yeah, keep nerfing this based on pick rate. Real smart. What do you think that guy plays? Or do people really look at this kind of stat and they think this champ is broken? I don't understand how people read. He's 3% pick rate and he has essentially a 50% win rate. This seems like he's just broken, that this is a broken number. This looks like the most standard champion of all time. I really want to hug you. Right. Love that CDR is back on Nashers. Yeah, old Nashers had Fiendish. Old Nashers had Stinger Fiendish, that was both a uh, cooldown. Did they nerf Vigor MR? No, they nerfed his armor and his health. And his W damage early. He considered adjusting GP by chunking- Oh, no, not chunking. Not the Q chunks. Down his overall damage. Okay, what? Lower his damage, but give him lower cooldowns and more speed. He has lower cooldowns and he's doing more damage. I wonder how this guy imagines. What the hell would Ash E? How would Ash E scale off of crit? Like it'd be a lower cooldown? Admit the defeat. People love saying that. Admit Yumi was a mistake. Say it! Say it, Riot! Admit it! I feel like everybody loves saying that. Just spit it out, Riot. Yeah, her E is the fucking the hawk shot, the vision. How do you feel about the barrel indication? I haven't even seen it in the game yet. But I heard I heard it was ugly looking. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. It's like a lame change, but whatever. What the hell is this shit, Nasher's buff? This nerf Katarina is already weak game. Just not even, <laughs> not even early game or anything. Just weak game. And delays are another 200 gold for being an actual champ. 
You know Lich Bane exists, right? At this point, not even Fizz will buy this garbage item. Not even fucking Fizz will stoop to that low. Even Fizz isn't reaching that far in the dumpster. Where exactly are the Jarvan nerfs? Bro, who's dodging Jarvan? I feel like you're so down bad if you dodge Jarvan. And I'm not saying he's dog shit, but... If you're dodging Jarvan, you just have to hold that, bro. Like, what are you doing? Who are you, who are you playing against then? Don't bring it up, the Yumi fantasy now. Y'all already took her away. Kitten of Depression. The undisputed greatest Yumi player. Okay. You ripped the soul out of the champion, you monsters. Okay, I'm assuming that's bait. How to fix soul, it's making it... Make it to where his ult resets the Stardust counter. The problem is when he ults, it dies and comes back with a big one. How is this a buff for Nasher? No one will buy this item now. LOL, quit your job, please, if you have any dignity left. This guy's the friendliest picture, too, of all time. Come on, man, why is he so mad? Look at this happy turtle he has. This guy's whole everything makes no sense. He has this, his name is Tortoise. He has this happy turtle in the picture, but his, his name is Smoking Hot Babe, and then he's just fuming in this reply. What's going on? Like, <laughs> none of this goes together. In that case, you made it OP for Kale, Gwen, Echo, Diana. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Interesting patch overall. I want to know where the Kled skin is at. If the PB updated, right? It should be on there. Unless it's going to be like next patch. Rank games are a joke. The harder we carry, the worse our team gets. And the better the enemy team gets. To the point where my entire team back to back. Okay. You wrote a bunch. Who cares, bro? Literally, who cares? Who cares, bro? Six days has to be a record for utterly killing a rework now. It is an adjustment for Nashers though, for sure. Alright, I see you, mate. Buff a Z or 40% win rate champ. Talon buff is good. You first wave now with two W's. How big are they buff at? What? They didn't even buff his... They didn't buff his W damage. They buffed his passive damage, his W mana cost, and then his R damage. Gift uh, sub to zero? Yeah, I got you. You ain't going nowhere! Boom. There you go. Dropped it. 53 months. There you go. Boom. Super Tuesday. Birthday was in February. February? What day? My sister's birthday's in February. My older sister. Here you want a big man somebody for your birthday. Come on. Filled with hate. The 20th? Oh damn. Kinda close. I mean, whatever. Patches, whatever. I 
Like there's not that much to say about this patch. At least the quick blades nerf is pretty irrelevant. Bloodline definitely seems pretty pointless to run ever. The vein buffs are pretty huge though, man. So every Q is a 115% AD ratio. Like they definitely want you to max that. They're, they're making her like, you remember when like crit vein was like a burst champ for a bit. I'm in a champ's like right now. Stop saying it's irrelevant to go bloodline. You think it's still good after this change? <laughs> okay, well, I... <laughs> Jin just can't take any W's, bro. Just go Alacrity. Get two more AD, bro. That might be better. Jin just has to just take an L every time. Anytime there's anything. Given the Ravenous Hunter treatment. Yeah, legit. Like, they gotta remove it at this point, right? It's literally what's, what happened to Ravenous. He healing runes was just a bad idea to begin with. Because not every champion is balanced to have healing. So it's good that they're nerfing a lot of healing and... Like, just in general in the runes. Not every champ is balanced. Like, when, when Ravenous Hunter was strong, it was the same thing. Like, some champs just used it, like, ridiculous. Like, Rise and Cassiopeia. Like, champs that didn't even have healing. But then when they have that rune, they're healing a shit ton. Like, like healing and true damage are two things that just shouldn't be in the runes. It'd just be flat stats or, like, N or stuff like that. Excited that Tessa's only that. Wish you could sort by new replies. I know Thresh is actually being picked every game. And obviously, he's good and they buffed him, but still. As someone who's been consistently spending on Yumi stuff in game, plus merch, this feels really bad for all of us. You turned her into a shell. Look at all the fun she had. Now, as much as I don't like Yumi or play Yumi, they definitely made her way less. Like, Yumi was already extremely, like, you didn't play her that much. But they took out the little things that you did do. That is pretty cringe. They somehow made her even, like, more, like, completely straightforward. Yo, what up, Nick? What's good, man? You didn't play her that much. Am I against Trendomir? Boo. I'm gonna play against that. Oh wait, I didn't even lock in yet? Yo, let's go. I thought I, for some reason I thought I already trolled myself. Well, maybe I should play Pantheon. Oh no. I'll play Pantheon. Alright, Conchar. I feel it, man. Have a good one, bro. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Peace, brother. Phase Rush ban. That might be the counter to trend. Yeah, Phase Rush. Kite away from him. Does sound legit. I was just looking at the replies to these. Like, they just posted the patch changes. But yeah, they, they nerfed Yumi a bit. Apparently she's not going to give any resist anymore. She does that now. She gives her ADC a lot of armor and MR. Whoever she's attached to. Her uh, partner. What up? Hi, Carmi. What's good, man? You have an issue? What's the issue, man? Yeah, they nerfed Vagar, but... I was kind of worried that they were going to nerf his range. Even though, because that's like what they just buffed. But they just made him a little squishier. They are called gods. And his W is a little bit weaker early. I feel like it's not Can too bad. You know, I hate playing this one, man. Match doesn't sound that good, but it's okay. I'll say I don't need three pots. 
Yeah, this is the skin I usually use. Pantheon has a few good skins, but I, I really like this one the most. Can't carry on Kled. I'll be 15 and 2, but should I still can't carry? Still just die and lose? What do I do? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty hard to carry with Kled because he's not a 1v5 champion. Like, he can't just be fed, go to a team fight, and just dominate like some champs can, like Riven. Or like, you know, like AoE champs. Because he's all like, he has to kill one person at a time. He's more single target. He gets really rolled by like CC chain and stuff. You have to win through like macro play. You have to win by splitting well, split pushing well, you know, making picks at the right times. You know, not grouping too much. So it is harder to win with him than on other champs. I mean, like, most of the people that I VOD review, like, they all complain about the same thing. They all say, I get ahead early, and then I don't know what to do. So that's, like, the harder part to learn, because you can't just be fed and then just win as Kled. Like, you have to actually, like, play the map correctly. And that's, like, the hardest thing to learn. Like, if I saw your gameplay, I could probably, like, it'd be easier to point it out. Or, like, if you watch when I play Kled, Try to explain what I'm doing. Gaming, gaming. The VOD review stream incoming. Fourth end, I mean, that could have been me. Tier start. I think I'd be a little too weak. I'd buy that though. It lowered his mana cost a little bit on this kill. Five. Alright, the two point Q strat returns. Eid behind me, dude. I could have killed him. Uh, not only the volley flashed on me. Whatever. I would have died, but I could have killed Trend if I just Eid backwards. Junglers are too lame. That's the first comment I see right after that. So lame, dude. I got lame ganked by level 4 double buff flashing jungler. Like, I wish Dag does counterplay that. In terms of survival. One shot's the name of a game, and a game is it? Yeah, he just he has because he has D shell in his Q and his base stats are insane. It's so lame that you can just wait for the jungler and it just works. Right. That should hit me. This is the people, like, that's the guy who's camping, bro. That guy. Storytelling game, puzzle. I like those kind of games. He was, like, exactly in, in like, kill range, too. Like, I feel like if my Q hit him, like, a second later, he would have regen enough to be out of the threshold. I mean, I thought he was in XQ range, but I think it was really close. Like, it had to be really close to XQ range. Like, I swear he regened a tiny bit more. No, his Q, yeah, his Q executes, yeah. I mean, his Q is always executed. Yeah, even, old, even old Pantheon had the crit on somebody who's low. It's the same, same thing. He bought a T in that, though. That's good for me. Yeah, it always has. Why kills Kled, bro. Dismount Kled. 
Click down and executed. They have the ace also the game is gonna it's gonna lag us now. With the ult. You got the fruit. Dough by their jungler or something. From the skies, they see war. But on Earth, there is only carnage. Oh, you tried to get hooked on first. Oh, I hate when that happens. You intentionally try to tank a spell, and they just somehow miss. This lady is so annoying. We lost that plate. The right side of the gank, yeah. We outnumber them this time. They do have a volley right there. Fumbled one of their picks. Beef is than have a volley there. I feel that actually. See if I can TP to a minion right here. 
dragon on the Rakan. We bait the stealing. No, it's too early. Man. A little bit too early on that bait. She made it a little early. They healed. I do not set the pace. I race against Do more damage to the tower because I have 10% armor pen and now I have flat pen too. Well, I heard him doing it even though I couldn't see it. Why is that still a bug in this game? He was tanking the tower. I mean, Trindamir was tanking at first and then he switched, but I thought he turned off the tower. Just like shot him after and killed him. That hit him, dude. That was crazy. Well, whatever. I guess I couldn't live that, but at least I got a kill. Dude, I should hit his tail or something. That was a nuts hit box right there. I know, I, I actually cannot believe that. That had to be, I don't know what that was. You seen that Vi bug where like, by queuing sometimes, it'll just like snap the Aesol back to her. Like Aesol will be flying like here and like Vi will queue raptors and it'll just like vacuum them all the way over. If they bleed, yeah, that was a crazy hitbox. I wonder if that has to do with that. Like if he has just a weirdly bugged hitbox when he's flying. Yeah, just a global ability. I sure they had that before. The Poppy Q and King Q bug. Getting everybody on the map. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, King W. Chill's nuts. Oh 
think Velkai's early and stole like three dragons. Was it Velkai's? Three damage burst? Bro, people losing dragon with a 1200 damage smite for like a random ability like Velkai's ability. Pretty damn bad. Your smite is infinite damage now. So squishy. Maybe 04, I guess. Nah, I know. I was dead anyway. I wasn't gonna be able to run. Volley Bear was flanking me. I had to fight him. Store. What's going on, man? Vengeance is cold. I do not need it on the mountain. Beat some suiciding for it. Actually, quick with that row of prop. Try dodging that move. Ouch. That guy's always like behind me. He's volleying there all game. Can't believe a dragon didn't just run up and out of me. He's so scary. Ulted me but did nothing. If he had stacks, it might have killed me. The even shroud. Guy's already shielded 2,000 damage. Dude, glacial slows so much. <laughs> How many times must I die before I know?
instantly died. People are on like no damage still. The dragon's taking all week to kill. If they had time to kill Baron, kill my Caitlyn, and then get like near the dragon before you finish that. It's insane. Very interested in winning. And they got Baron. And he walked. I know it took it took so long to do that dragon. I guess it was only like a tank and a support hitting it. They literally killed Baron, dove mid, and then got to the dragon. In the time it took us to kill it. Yeah, I know, it just took so long. Never. Can't win without ADC anyway. Game was just unplayable. I was getting like extremely camped, but I was still pretty strong. But we're like down dragons anyway, and down towers, and down an ADC, so we can't win. One single minion, it ain't, even if she wasn't trolling. I'm pretty sure that guy trying would be like the same level. It's just that I got camped, and then we're like down dragons anyway, so we just lose. Nah, I mean, I don't think I'd live those ganks on any champ. Like, going one for one is, like, best case scenario. Can't 1v2 volley trend under tower. Not a thing. I just have to hope the rest of the map can win. If they're just gonna gank top that much. Heimer lives? Yeah, if I had stopwatch rune Heimer. That would've been it. You're good, bro. Good luck, man. You've been, you've been on that grind. The number one Kha'Zix. How many Kha'Zix can you name? A lot of people pick them. I can't name any. Besides Benito, you might be the number one. Have it back. Really the same pick. A really bad one you start running into repeatedly? Demir? Does that guy still play? That guy, that guy used to just target in so many people. Could have swap. Nah, it literally didn't matter what champs we had. The way we played that game was never going to be won. Oh, 
like the Yumi counter. Ignoring the armor buff. I even it wasn't even about the matching, like It's just like if if I get camped, but then our volume is like not ahead and we're not up dragons, that should lead to the game. We should lose then. It just doesn't matter. Evil Ark, you're picking Victor. Maybe it'll be Everfrost Diary or something. Be on that no damage. Those Aries just play like super safe. I just like hope their team carries. Bottom five winning experiences? Nah. It is annoying if you're melee because you can't touch her. So many champs like that, dude. This game. Too many champs that just check if you're melee and they just win. Smites the cannon, <laughs> come on. <laughs> so let me hold that. Was he playing Shojin Hecarim? The heck is that build, man? He held a jungle, oh jeez. Even better, I guess. start tier of this game. Against Malphite. Yeah, tier cled. How'd you know? Yeah, I'm actually on your favorite champ. Yo, Rick. You're lucky. They nah, Judicial must have sent in that Yorick quad nerf that he got. Judicial or Kev, one of them sent it in. They made sure I'll never pick him. Oh, my Twitch chat just crashed on me. I have 9 AP, bro. That's what I'm working with. Alright, I'm back. Back to my chat. What the hell is this frog emote? What is that? A shepherd with no flock is just an idiot with a stick. 50 armor? God damn. I don't know, I just saw it on the list when I went to go emote. 
never seen that one before. Goofy frog. After 15 years in the dark, I was doomed. Well, he just lost a one armor, he's nerfed. Goodbye, man. I would attack the lane opponent. How could I do such a thing? Whatever. Can't live that. Made the fatal error of trying to fight my lane opponent as a top laner. No, I've summoned the jungler. The Hulk skin. They did a crossover, maybe. At least this guy didn't push the wave for him. Yeah, we'll come back. Them so it's good, man. Ah, whatever. That happens every game, but there's gonna be nothing I can do about it. I just have to die if their jungler wants to kill me like that. Even though I see him coming like so long ago, there's just no counterplay to that. Too way too far from the tower. Doesn't matter though. This guy has no farms. Malphite. This has an assist over me. That doesn't matter that much. No more slums. No more dungeons. At least it's Gorge and Curly Sun. Got his flash and the wave is under his tower. Not even gonna lose the plate. No, I didn't crit. Uh, Malphite crit me, that's probably what you saw. They made it so when he W autos you, it shows like the crit number. <laughs> I had worse beatings in prison. It's pretty good. I didn't have to use my flash and he just lost so many minions. It has the coal star, bro.
Yeah, that's an auto reset. Just like AoE damage a bit. I guess there was like a period of time where people were going to like press the attack and I'll fight. Just auto W auto somebody early game and max it. I don't think it was that good, but people did it. This guy did he kick? I'll oh, just get him. If he flashed it, he flashed it, whatever. I think I had a bounty on him, it was 3 0. That was revenge for the gank. Now I have red buff regen. I don't know when I'm gonna do it yet. I'll probably like, like one day I'll like post an announcement in the Discord for people to just send me their vods for like a specific date where I'll do it. And I'll probably do like maybe like three or four on the stream. Probably be soon. Malfa's doing no damage. Let's use a Merc Treadmill fight. Alright, he can't kill it without R. in the discord for it I mean, i'm only gonna be able to do like a few of them on the stream i'll probably have to just like randomize it who i get in the discord what do you mean what We have the 40% MR Shred Rumble now. Forget who is in the game. Wow, I didn't even think he had the flash. Cardinal doesn't hit Yumi? Nah, if she's attached, she's untargetable, so it doesn't hit her. Alright. It shouldn't hit her. It doesn't hit any uh, untargetable champ. No! Bro, did you see that damage? For a second I was like, oh, at least he's gonna kill him. 
That, that was extremely unserious. Four hundred gold. God damn. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. It, it won't. It won't target untargetable champions. But we just can't. As long as she's attached when you cast it. Now he had less than this. But he shreds a lot more MR now. We're like early games. Doesn't have that much MR yet. But then he has the percent HP damage passive too. He overheated himself. So he's doing like true levels of percent HP auto damage. Like insane. Well, Sarako, yeah, we'll target your ally so you don't just miss your teammate. Sounds not have any AD ratios. Yeah, his passive has like a 10%. All right, it's 130%. Well, it's 100% because you auto attack, so it's 100% AD because it's 100% of your auto damage. And then it's 30% more to the primary target. And then if you take an AD scaling ultimate, um, sometimes it works. Not always. Sometimes it just converts to AP. It depends on the, the scaling. But people used to go Maru mana, Silas, because he like does so many instances of damage over and over. He can keep proccing the Maru mana, and then he has AD scaling on his passive. Yeah, but, but his AP ratios are like insane. Insanely high. His E is 100% AP, his Q is like 140. Or it's 130% if you hit both. So it's like too good to not go. But people did go AD. I went AD item on him for a while, the 180 item. I got all the plates in those first tower. Pretty rich. I think Ari has low damage. Yeah. Compared to mages, yeah. It's a very safe champ. I am no traitor. I am the true Demacia. I hope they don't make him a hybrid champ. That's the worst thing they ever did to Katarina. The Bork Divine Slender Katarina is, uh, is unbelievable. It's like a lame idea. The whole thing with Katarina is that she was supposed to be like an AP assassin, so it's balanced by like if you can stun her or burst her, you know, you can kill her. But the AD build, she is really tanky. So she doesn't have that weakness anymore. And also, instead of just doing magic damage to you, she does AD, a lot of physical, a lot of magic, and then percent HP damage, which she wouldn't, she wouldn't have had before. So it makes her harder to build against and harder to just kill in general the way the items are now it's like it's not balanced for that kind of champ like untankable damage has a titanic hydra and mertreads with a yumi full support yumi how are we gonna kill this guy he was a bork i guess and the mouth fight are Yeah, he's gonna be really tanky. Hopefully I can Malphite R him and then get exhausted and then you can kill him or something.
allies. I don't know how that's gonna happen. A shepherd with no plot is just an idiot with a stick. Yeah, she. It's because it's, it's more like that they made her an on hit, you know. Like they gave her AD scaling and stuff, but it's it's more that she just procs on hits like so much. With spells. After 15 years in the dark, I was yeah, we do have the true damage champ. He has to get in range without dying. We gotta, we gotta escort him in. Yeah, Clint can definitely not play against her at all. Because of that change. But he beat too late. If I could show up faster, maybe, but it happened too fast. Yeah, and, and her E is an auto reset too, so she, she can auto you E auto really fast, like even before she has ult. You think Kled is good? He's like rank 1 top laner, Sao Slates. So Sao Slates don't mean anything because he's like a, the lowest pick rate like top laner. He's like less pick rate than Yorick and Alawi. Nobody picks him, so he's only really played by one tricks. So the stats don't mean anything. But I do think he's good, as long as you're not high elo. I think he's good everywhere outside of high elo. Well, now Yumi's Q, it scales off of her teammate's crit chance. The Kogma just started buying crit. Winsuus. Now he has zero, right? Alright, that's in five seconds. The stupid kick on me. Wait, clear. These are all just sitting in the limbo. They really just ate in the entire thing. Okay, level up. Would run away. Nah, that was my bad. I, I legit thought he would run though. Like, he just turns around. It makes no sense. Whatever. Can, I, can we do dragon? I have vision of him. Nah, I messed it up. Yes, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nah, I fucked up. I fucked up. I, I missed my last day. I just thought the Ari would run, and she just like turned around and just auto attack. Made no sense. How does this? How do I play him in high low? Well, you can climb with any champion in the game. It doesn't matter. You, you can get challenger any champ. It just it, I just think it starts to like like uh the, like matchups and stuff. They start to matter a lot more, and like the meta start to matter when you're high low. So then it starts getting harder. But it's not like it's like oh you just can't win now. And also, the ladder in Season 13 of North America is like a joke anyway. If you're a diamond level player, you can get the challenger in this season. But... Especially if you were a challenger in like older seasons. Fuck me, 20 gold. My teammate's griefing. It's not, yeah, true. It's not a joke because it's not funny. That's actually facts. Not a joke because it's not funny that they made it so terrible. If you switch my MR numbers, I have 69. Oh, 
lot of people keep challenging Cassante. I mean, there's always a broken, there's broken champs all, all the time. Any, any state of the game has broken champs in it. Another Penta. Might be hard this game, but maybe. Maybe if they use their exhaust on somebody else. They had a triple last fight. Let's see. If only I could get. Because Ari ult now gets a resets. Like if she gets a killer and assist, she gets another charge of her ult dash. But I can't get that if I steal her ult because it's considered part of her passive. The reset part, which is kind of lame. Would have sold my soul years ago. Nah, people overrate like Elo inflating champs. If you play the most broken champ, whatever, yeah, you'll win more than probably on like a bad champ, but not by like a lot. Not by it's gonna carry you to like a way different rank that you don't deserve. Like maybe if you're a D2 player, it brings you to like masters, but it's not gonna be like a huge difference. Not like a gold player to masters or something. Never going to the hospital again? What happened then? Is Salus not OP? I think Salus is really strong. I think he's pretty good. Definitely a good champ. Just space better. Uh, Garen? No, Garen's pretty strong. He's pretty annoying. Instantly kick him. Probably because he out heals a lot of tanks, but he should need Ben to damage him. But usually you can beat them eventually, because he'll just like heal through their damage. Like, what damage is Malphite ever gonna do to me ever? With his items. He has Iceborn, Force of Nature. Lost $80,000. Wow, what the? Eighty thousand dollars. Would he win and just die? I could not do anything about that. Good, evil. Now we're not gonna contest this. Not happening. Oh, that was actually close. Best champ to climb. Well, before I pick the answer. I'll say again that it doesn't matter who you climb with. You can climb with any champ in the game. There's a lot of viable top lane champs. But the best top lane is probably Jax. And he's also very easy. So that's probably that answer. He's probably the best answer. Jax is impossible to mess up and he's super broken. The only problem is that he's picked and banned. So you might not always get him. Picked and banned often. I think if I TP her, I'll die. Yeah, nice. I think this card is going in right now. Got to be awesome. I knew he was gonna flash on that guy. Two hundred and fifty-two miles. Wait, that is that the closest hospital you could get to? Why did it tell? Where were you out of the two hundred fifty-two miles? You can play Jin if you want. 
the most magic. This is her favorite chapter. Don't forget it. Looks like that open bez. Damn, what the fuck? It's insane. Dude, I love subspace so much. I wish they did that again, like another Smash game. Some of those cutscenes from that part of the game are burned into my mind. Yo, what up, ATL? What's good? What's good? How are you doing? Who is the coolest? Dude, Sonic pulling up at the end, striking Taboo, all the parts with like King DDD and the trophies. Nah, that, that shit was so good. I still can't beat them, bro. Yeah, no, I remember him being pretty hard. Quick as a fox. Did she like knew I was there? That positioning that she was going. Flank of Doom. I had to turn around and get that guy. Get that guy's ult. Give me that shit. I don't remember, but I, I definitely I definitely picked Mario, Peach, and Kirby. I think that's all I needed. Oh, and probably Wario. Those are the characters I played the most in Smash back then. Wario, Mario, Peach, and Kirby. Played them a lot. Yeah, late dude, late game. It used to be lower too on Silent Soul, but yeah, late game, your ult has no cooldown. You can basically you basically just start taking anybody's ult, even if you don't need it, and you just throw it. Like you just start rotating ults at that point. But um Yeah, it used to be lower too. There is like the internal cooldown, like after I take Lee Sin's ult, I can't take his ult again for a few seconds, but late game, it's like, it gets to such a low number, especially because I build so much haste. Yeah, I have Cosmic Drive, I have fucking uh, the Rune that gives me haste, I have Rod of Ages that gives me haste. Yeah, yeah, there's a cooldown for the same target, yeah, but it scales off of their ult cooldown. So, like, late game, most ults are not that long of a cooldown. So, unless I'm trying to take Karthus ult or something with a super long cooldown, usually I can just take this shit again. Like, I, I just took Malphite ult not long ago. I was able to take it again right there. Mr. Game & Watch. Yeah, I respect that. The 9. Ice Climbers. There you go. Iowa. University Hospital was closer than ISU Hospital. It's apparently at zero beds. So I had to go way farther with one with open beds. Why was it so packed? What the hell? When you get like garbage pizza from a chain, what sauce you put on there? The default? I don't even change it. I just assume if it's a garbage pizza place, they'll all taste the same anyway. All the pizza's gonna taste the same. Oh. Nah, I, I don't put any extra on it. Alright, I gotta be right back real quick. I need to use the bathroom like crazy. Be right back.
Alright. I'm back. Back in action. Alright, that was a good Silas game. That was like the ideal Silas game. I was against Malphite. I got ahead in lane, I got all the plates. Everything went pretty well there in that, that game. Oh. Why did Cassante get Empyrean and why did Belveth get Battle Boss? Usually they just get a skin that matches like like they just it's just bundled with other champs that are getting the same skins. Cassante got that Empyrean one at the same time as Lux Pike, a couple champs Zach. They usually just release it with uh, the other champs. Cled got Sir Cled with uh, Sir. Uh, with the other Sir. Uh, I guess I get. Guess I can't think of any other Sir skin. Yeah, that's that's weird. <laughs> Sir Goth. What was Zeri's skin? I oh, mean Gwen. I am lightning. Withered Rose. Oh right, right, right. She's blind, right? She has a blindfold. Siri. Oh, need a Blood Moon ribbon. The skin they released this this patch for it is red, red themed. It was not withered. What? Shanna Tile? No, I'm not playing that. You know that was meta for a bit while you were gone. People would play Smite Janna Top. That was like a real, that was like a meta pick. Projecto. Projecto. Blood Moon may be your favorite skin line. They had that game mode, that Assassin Blood Moon game mode. Shit lasted, I think that was only came out once. Blood Moon skins are pretty good. I don't know what my favorite skin line would be. It's kind of hard. Yeah, it was Smite top on a few chance, but Janna was like, at the time... Well, Smite top was meta a few different times, I guess. But the one I'm thinking of was with Janna, was like the main one. Yeah, Lorlo still picks it sometimes. I, I think I only played against it like once. I, I played against a bunch of other Smite roaming champs, but not Janna, luckily. Kept playing its like Twitch Smite top over and over. Blood Moon was hype when it came out. I'd have to think about skin lines to think about what's my favorite one. Because my favorite skins in the game, like Final Boss Vagar, but most of the other Final Boss Battle Boss skins are not that good. But I wouldn't say that. Gentleman Chogoth, but th that's a good skin line, but there's only like two gentleman skins. Nah, we didn't lose, but they do have Evelyn. Alright, we lost. Evelyn is unbeatable, man. It's okay, we got this, we got this. Uh, who's top? Alright, let me play a GP game. So this, now I'll see the GP barrel indicator for myself. If Let's see if I notice the nerf. They nerfed him an okay amount. It wasn't like nothing. Oh, they dodged. Whatever. I don't know what their team was anyway. What do people buy on Janatop? Just support items. They, they literally buy the support item, like the gold item. And you would just build like newer normal Janna. The whole reason it was meta was because top lane at that time was so irrelevant. Literally, it was so irrelevant. The, the best thing you could do was not go to lane at all. So you would just play a support and you would not lane. You would run around the map all game. And uh, just gank and stuff. And then also, another reason it was good is because... It was like around the time they introduced objective bounties to the game. Where like, if you're on the losing team, then you guys start getting a bunch of bonus gold for doing objectives. Like Towers and Dragon. So basically, because you weren't farming at all, because you're just running around the map, you were considered to be losing because you have no gold compared to the other player. They're getting all solo farm. So the game would think that you guys are losing, so they would give you the objective bounties, but then you have two smites, so it was like easier to get objectives. So you just play scaling comps, like it was so cringe. I, people would play Twitch and do it too, like roaming, AP Twitch. 
Um, like you could do it with like Lulu or whatever. I know, this is actually insane. This is the most in a row. <laughs> this is like 10 thrushes in a row, dude. Yeah, AP Twitch. They just nerfed it recently, but I'm sure it's still good. But it was really good for a while, and I, I'm sure it's still good. They did nerf it a decent amount uh, recently. Hasta Ben, may you never see a Jenna. Thank you, Azler. Appreciate it. I have a good one, bro. Thanks for watching, man. Peace. Never heard of that. Well, I guess it's not that old. They, there was like a patch where they buffed his AP scaling a bunch, and then people started playing it. Like uh, his poison, his like his uh, W, where he throws the slow. How much it slows you scales off of AP. So when people build AP on him, it like it basically roots you. It's like a ninety percent, hundred percent slow. You just can't move. And then they made his poison scale off AP and his E. They just made everything scale off AP. I think he always had some shitty AP ratio on his E, but they gave it to his other abilities too. On his poison and his slow. But now it's like everything. Alright, I don't know if I want to play GP into Gwen. I don't know, that matchup feels so hard for me. Oh, you want me to take Fizz? Right, I'll just play GP anyway, I don't care. Oh, whatever, either lane, I'll just go GP, it's fine. Alright, I'll, I'll fight the fish then. You don't want to play Pantheon into Fizz? If he's good into Gwen? I'll go either lane. It doesn't matter to me. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll take the fish on now. He wants to fight me. Okay. Um, oh, I should have won uh, the hay shard, I guess. Whatever. You said you'd hate seeing hybrid Silas. Yeah. Personally, hate when they start moving hybrid What's your take? I mean, I'm fine with, like, hybrid builds. It's just that some champs are just not balanced to be both. Like, some champs are clearly balanced one way. And, like, that completely different build pattern makes them just unplayably. Like, you can't counter them now. Like, Katarina going from a squishy full AP assassin, and then they turned her into, like, a tanky AD bruiser with, like, mixed damage. Like, okay, she was not meant to be like this. And then she heals a bunch now. Like, she was just not balanced to be like that, so now she's not, like, squishy or punishable. So it feels, like, obnoxious, you know. I, I felt like Silas, Silas is, like, that kind of champ, because he's a very mobile champ, and he autos a lot. So if they turned him into an AD champ, it would be like that. He would just be, like, just vamping and doing a lot of percent damage. Wouldn't they have to just lower her ratios? Yeah, I mean, the problem with Katarina isn't even really her ratios. It's, it's really just that she procs on hits so much. Uh, because they made her Shunpo proc on hits, so it procs her Bork and her Divine Sunder if she just dashes to you. Um, and then they made it an auto reset too, so she like auto dash autos you and procs on hits three times right there. And then her ult procs on hits, and her ult is obviously just spam hitting you over and over. But that's like the real problem with that with that build on her specifically. It's just it's just the amount of on hits that she's doing. Go AP. Who me? Me and Mumu? Uh... Nice. What up, Dab Slayer? Like, I don't know when you stopped playing League. Like, did you play when Tank Echo was in the game? It's like that kind of problem. Like, Echo is not meant to be a tank. So if he can actually damage the fuck out of you while being tank, it's like, this is a problem now. Like, some champs are just not meant to cover multiple roles. Isn't the issue still just ratios? Nah, for Katarina, it's, it's more about her on hits. That's the problem. Um, but it's not really increasing the skill cap, because for Katarina it took away her skill cap, because you're no longer punishable, so it made her easier to play. Everyone, 
Man, he really don't want me to proc that first strike, huh? Yeah, Tank Fizz was like, if you couldn't get Tank Echo, you would just play Tank Fizz. It was the bootleg version. It's okay for some champs. Like, if one champ is meant to be like an AP Assassin, but you can also go AD Assassin, that's fine, because you're like the same thing. You're just different type of damage. But like, when you turn into something way different, then I think it's too far. Suddenly, you're now you're a support or a tank or something. A Triforce Fervor Fizz, bro. That shit was fun. I, I used to go Bork, a Spirit of the Elder Lizard Fizz jungle all the time. I thought that shit was mad fun. That was my that was one of my first pentas I ever got was on AD Fizz jungle. I remember it. Here. Damn, he didn't get shot again. Let's go. Well, at least he got for his blood. The jungler said enough gameplay. <laughs> Let me stop you right there, <laughs> Bucko. Damn, he, the resistance to not tax that wave. Not ready for your latest Fizz model. This guy? That Kane said, are you gone far enough? Dangerous is in a shark maze and say the finale. One amp dome. Trying to do damage. What else would she go? <laughs> what would show more confidence than just a, a damage item? He's the first member. Mercy he can handstand when he needs to on his trident. Can pull vault when he needs to. right now just walk away don't care if I'm done a little XP I'm up a lot of farm but watch this cane be back right here the moment she presses I gank in the middle of getting all in APE see I wasn't around for that I remember people talking about that this damage reduction Walked all the way back mid, and Kane's still just waiting there. What shit is that? I'm coming. Stop this guy on his red buff. 
No, man, there's so many people and there's so many summoners, isn't bad. Oh my god, he flashed two? Nah, bro. Our whole team is pressing everything. Fuck. Whatever, I, I was committing, I was committing. I wasn't gonna let my boy just die like that. Uh, how do you team fight with Planet Fan? It's so hard to auto the right target. Yeah, you usually you, you try to not team fight whenever you can help it. You want to focus mostly on split pushing, and then when you do want to group, you want to look for a pick beforehand with your R. Uh, look to pick or, you know, fight some people that are outnumbered. Usually you don't want to team finals, you absolutely have to, and if you have to, then you want to try to, like, go for, like, a flanking ult. Um, something like that, because it's not very good at team fighting. I go hole breaker sometimes, really situationally, but generally, there, generally there's too many items that are like really good on you, that like you want, so it's hard to fit it into your build path. It's still a good item though, even though they nerfed it a bit, it's still a good item if you are really split pushing in a game, but yeah, I don't build it as much anymore because there's just like a lot of items I need per game. There's a Kled. multiplayer beta access dude that reminds me i was i was i because you know I, I said i was playing mario kart earlier and i was looking at the switch eShop, right i was like what they got on the eShop? and first of all i saw fortnite i was like oh right i forgot fortnite's on the switch and then i saw overwatch 2 and i was like wait overwatch 2 is on the switch like i didn't even know that but then you know what else i saw on the the front page bro the front page of the nintendo eShop, they had a game called hentai world <laughs> and it was on sale. I was like, bro, are you serious? What if I was a kid looking at this? It was on the front page. Like, I barely scrolled at all, bro. At all. I was like, hello? No, I didn't buy it, man. Of course, it said you already had it owned, so I couldn't, you know, download it again. But I was like, what the fuck, bro? Front page, bro. Promoting that shit. I heard of that game. I heard that game was terrible. I've never played it, though. I heard that game was bad, though. Or at least it sold, like, really bad. That's all I remember about that game. Because everyone memed it because uh, the guy who, like, really wanted to make that game... He, like, normally works on Sonic games. And he's like, oh, I got a dream of this one game I really want to make. So he, like, didn't work on the last Sonic game so he could work on that game. And then it was, like, it was just really bad. People were like, oh, this is what he was doing. <laughs> and then, the, oh, that guy, oh, that guy got in trouble for uh, something with, like, stocks. Something with his company's stocks he did that was illegal, and then he got in trouble for that. And people said, damn, that game hit him that hard. That's his yeah, he was insider trading or something, something like that. <laughs> yeah, Yuji Naka. Where's my lane opponent? There he is. I'm about to get ganked for hitting his ward. Okay, I'm safe. You think this fizz is really invested in my barrel counter right now? It actually looks like nothing. I thought I thought it would show you at least a picture of barrels. It just shows you some bars, that's it. It's like the anti icon. So let's go. Hang 
Punched. Zack punch. Super punch. I hate that shit. Damn, that guy was ganking for the 04 Gwen. Yeah, th this looks terrible. It's literally just the annual one, except it doesn't have the indicator at the end for the stun. Now she's at 5, yeah. She ends the game 20 and 0. She loses her dis. The mark of a good player. Pretty close to my coal. Back at the helm. I got it this time. Got it this time. And misfortune, the lore matchup. Yeah, it's Lear. Good luck. Right. Yeah, Lear for that gank, but it didn't work. Another. Wow. Out of that barrel. So late. Any luck. Fuck, now I need one CS for no reason. The power of Balin. What did he say, I wonder? This fuck ass game. Where's Project L at? True. Last plate. I'll go for it. I only had a few seconds to get it. Alright, I'm rich. That was the first time I was able to hit the tower all lane and I got all five plays in the tower. That's how a weak tower is. That was one item. I have a billion gold. Hit him with everything. I have ult upgrade too. It's like I can go bot, go mid. This guy's a good dragon now. Oh, never mind, they're just all around it. We can fight. We have. Oh, we don't have a Mamar though. When his R comes up, we can. Oh. I rarely forget you. And never. Forging for Kane returns. <laughs> Out of that guy, Dad. so much right there. Oh, the wave? This is like dead, dead body flash down. Nice, we got him. Shit is out of it, man. 
greed so much for the bonus gold. <laughs> it's like an emote. Oh, please leave me alone. Yes. I'm all out of barrels. She knows that I am. I'm exposed right now. The game is telling her to go for me. As the Andres. Hey, do we have any knockups? Oh, yeah, we do. We have a bunch, actually. Alright, we need them to fight enough. Alright. We need the claw. Fuck, I need 50 gold. Hold this. Alright. Now I have it. Thanks for the 50 gold, brother. That look close. My York has conquer. Nah, it's because he's probably gonna go this goofy ass lifesteal build. His York is is he got so nerfed this patch, like unbelievably nerfed. That people are just trolling and they're just going this life skill build. And it's not good, it's just like there's a bunch of bugs that make him life skill more. So they're trying to do this gimmicky shit. And I'm not sure that's what he's gonna do, but that's what a lot of them are doing. He's basically worthless now, so they basically just pick him and they just meme with this stupid life skill build. It's so bad. But his maiden gives him life skill, and then every time the ghouls jump, he life steals for it. Yeah, quote unquote bugs though. But you know, Ryze says and there's no bugs left, so don't worry. We didn't lose, we didn't lose, it's fine. Here's the going to Slimani. We'll kill her right now. Oh, Never said I was in power. This guy will win. Oh. Bro, what kind of. What they put on that shark, bro? Okay, I guess I have no boots. It slowed me like crazy, though. That was unbelievable. That's right. That was insane. She rooted me. They want an orange a stupid shark, man. You know how embarrassing that is? That's like pathetic. Yo, this is like... Okay, the knockups? Oh, so, let's go. I'm already on my second ult upgrade, dude. I'm in there. Pieces. Better be going for that tower, bro. So we're worried about that guy getting a bounty. There's 38 health. Holy AD. What the? He threw that shit on the ground. I was like... I never seen that. He said he dropped this. Hold that. I got you drop. Yeah, I, yeah, watch this. Everyone he sees. The summoner is disconnected. Alright, fight me. Hey, you wanna get a little closer, bro? You wanna aim? Do something? Ignited. Never Fine, bring my my ult. Right. Rush gets to kill. Can we get it? 
over. He's healing too much. Yeah, where's Scarl at? All I have is a shitty bar under me. Stupid counter. What the what the Roa? The huge purchase. Right, let me just go this item real quick. I'm anti heal. Yeah, we can we can speed run Baron. We do it instantly. I'm living a full build almost. Quote unquote nerfed passive though, might not be able to kill it. Stop that. Why don't you fly? Man, why didn't I fly? Who who exits Kanal and just W's before queuing though? It doesn't make any sense. Whatever. What is going on over here with this Gwen? <laughs> He's just going for all these towers. You guys got that? Holy. There's no mana. Okay, he's getting mana by tanking uh, with Roa. Oh, no, no, it's only champion damage. And then Gwen is trying to back up. Get on the point. He's still with her, by the way. All right, we got the Baron. Pretty close to that next item. Well, I still one barrel BMS, so I guess I'm not that nerfed. Operation Skyfall. James Bond. My vengeance will be bloody. What kind of shit is that, bro? Dragon's in it for a while though. Yeah, King's actually down. Hey, Dude, what the hell? Why bad, man? When is just too fed, I guess. Gun.
Barrel cooldown there is kind of noticing actually. Four seconds is a while. Makes sense. Salt upgrade. On my last item yet though. Oh. Has a death cap. I can't barrel her, she might kill me. No way I messed it up this bad. Enemy pick Clit away from you, damn. Play W Max Muffin at them? Well, hey, let them know. Clap them up. Now, if you're a Kled player, it feels like so easy to play against Kled. You know exactly what he's gonna do, like before he even knows. No good shit, brother. There you go, man. You got that. Light work. One of them. Oh, I never mind. I'm only double one of them. <laughs> Marry you. Immune this one. I got slowed so much. You're a pussy, bro. That's what you are. And what the fuck? The immune. She she did immune. <laughs> she has it again. She had a stopwatch. Oh, they started. <laughs> Relax. I can't damage it. I was an alpha. Mumu died for that ult that set me up. Nice. Alright. I can confirm the nerves didn't matter. But his barrel actually is a noticeably a little bit longer cooldown. But it doesn't matter that much. I guess they're also nerfing quick blades a little bit. Next patch. But also, I also lane against Fizz, so I'm basically versus nobody. Let's go, that was a good game. Nice. Today I had a really good Kled game, a really good Sal's game, and then a good GP game. Pantheon game was cursed. <laughs> Did he play around lane indicator? I don't think so. It didn't, didn't seem like he acted any different. You have to, you're gonna work on the perfect fish. fish a Wukong game, true. 
Hoo-ha. Clay jungle? I don't know if that a good clay jungle game is even a thing. Like a possibility. Played Winter has one? Yeah, me too. 69%. The Yumi jungle counter? Not even. I'd way rather have a Yumi jungle. And then we just have no jungler. <laughs> I'd rather have no jungler, but we have a Yumi than a Kled jungle. Would I take Exhaust versus Rengar? It's good against him, but it's pretty easy for him to kite it out. Yeah, Ghost is good against him too, because uh, he, he just kites you really hard. That's like a really annoying part of the matchup, is how easy it is for him to like run away from you. So Ghost is helpful against him. It's, it's kind of hard to use Exhaust efficiently against him. He can cleanse the slow off of himself too, and just run away with his W. So it's kind of hard. They banned Warwick. Someone was saying they thought Warwick was OP earlier. I don't know, Warwick is kind of a meme champ. Didn't check her guy. What do you mean? i about to pick our guy right here, watch this. Never mind. He picked Darius, that's not a good matchup, right? Tips against Riven. Uh, do not fight her level 1. For sure. Her level 1, most Rivens will try to all in you level 1. Because her level 1 is extremely strong. She, she'll just kill you if you try to level 1 fight her, so just be really careful. Until you're like level 4 or 5. It's like you're only a real window to have a chance to kill her is like level 4 or 5, because level 3 your Q is too weak, so you don't have kill pressure yet. You need to wait till 4 or 5 when you have points in your Q, but you have to fight before 6, because at level 6 she just beats you. So level 4, usually what I try to do is I try to bait out her E by just like walking up and autoing her without casting anything to, to bait out her E. Usually they'll just panic you somewhere. And then once her E is down, you can uh, look to cure. her. Especially if she goes for her third Q on you. If she tries to knock you up with her third Q while you're mounted, that's when you want to land a Q and then try to all in her right after she burns her Q. Not going to fight you back too hard, but it's a pretty bad matchup. She, she, she's really fucking strong. And she becomes really impossible to touch when she starts getting levels and items. A hard matchup. Basically up to her to fuck it up. Okay, let me make sure I don't get that default ring page this game like yesterday. That was so dumb. We have a Cho'Gath, Cho'Gath Senna. No, 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 what happened? My celerity. Oh, you don't need celerity. Lose level 1 and then rage quit. Yeah, that's definitely like a top 10 rage quit champ is Riven. The last couple smurfs that I did make when I was still doing that, like trying to climb on new accounts, I would run into a lot of like Irelias that would die early and then rage quit. It happened like so many times in a row. Saved me more times than I can count. I don't believe it. How would you even notice? Your five additional move speed? Nah, I was actually going celerity on when I was get, when I was getting ADC. I don't know how noticeable it was, but I don't know what I'm not gonna go absolute shit. I mean absolute focus on uh, ADC. With trend, true. Yeah, Trend is like another coin flip instant champ, and then just... Uh, but even though he literally scales, they're just like, nah, we lost. <laughs> I lost that first coin flip? Yeah, it's a doom. Got some bad luck. Mm. 
mute. Transcendence, that's good. Second wind. Press B to blow? What's going on? John Fumble? <laughs> Where am I? Still within my grasp. Who questions my ability? Non gentlemen try that thing now. You, you have to say the quotes now. I have to say the quotes. Up you go. And the reason why the speculations narrow the point. Bunine being a horse. He is a horse. You know what they say, you can lead Bunine to water, but you can't make him drink. It just happened. Jump scare, dude. Daria's jump scare. Improve your skills. And Try and go nine. The 40 MR. Zoe. That was Chogoth mid or what? At 69 maybe. Back to I just like listening to Wukong's laugh. So funny. Is that all they've got? All they got? Wukong's just laughing. Dari is super serious. Kind of annoying to try to like a decoy out of his Q. My decoy still counts as a champ. Still heal off it. Whatever, dude. Goodbye. Fuck it. Oh, damn. Never settle for second. I can flash too. And not the airy Jarvan. Surely she's dead to this gank. Still have to kill.
No, I did not click on that, man. What the f- That heat-seeking Q. Whatever. The Zoe is her enemy mid. Classic Viego mid matchup. Man, this sucks. Flash ult. I don't have to use anything. Shut down. Ouch. Been waiting for this. Goodbye. I did not decoy his hook. Oldest man on the planet. Whatever, I have TP, I guess. This guy just pushes too. He gets away with some capital. Yeah, old. Nah, whatever. Not gonna was top. I could have just let him freeze on me. Not that big of a deal. Shut down. Now nah, you got him. We got him. No celerity diff. I got this. Man, this guy's still here. Somewhere else. Put me to the test. You got it. He had to dive him at that point. Is at the top. Otherwise, it would have been really not worth. Alright, I pay him, I repay the favor. An ally has been slain. As flash, it's over. Just unkillable then now. The Man, what's happening here? With the, with the knocker. So he was going mid? He just like didn't ult in? He like wasn't in range or what? I, I thought he, he didn't show up from his ult, so I thought he was just not there. He really just turned off the lights for her. Knocker and jump scare flashing in. Both of his flashes have been like that. Man, this guy is pissing me off, bro. Won't let me go anywhere, this guy. He's always just there to look at me. Oh, we got dragon. It's 
pretty good on our champs. Healing and shielding and tenacity. Good in all of us. Dude. It's just to be on that champion screen. Loon got my back though, at least. Octane's top side. Dive mid. Yeah, I had no choice, man. I'm just gonna do it by knocking. What am I gonna look at? I can see what's happening on the map. If I go there, I'll just die to knocking. Okay, he's ulting nobody because we're literally nobody's even close to him. We just saw him kill Harold. So we literally know that he's ulting nobody. This guy just ults for like team fights. He's done that twice now. Like ults for just other people fighting. He's looking for the camps, but I already took all the camps up there. We just got a vision of them. Dude, Senna ult giving you vision of everything like a pass us through is pretty insane. Part of that move. Back in action. That's what he gets. Always trying to cover these towers on me. Got two plates. Oh boy, died though. I don't have flash. Yeah, I don't think you can live that then as a melee champ. Into Darius. Not down that much CS. Only 20. Even though I wasn't laning at all. But camps count for a lot. Alright, it probably doesn't change much. Sunder Wukong? Surely. Sunder Cleaver? Here it comes. And my teleport is unleashed. Double pickaxe. Can we even kill them together? And shred his arm. Instantly goes. Instantly hooked. I guess he thought we could kill him. Just like open and bolt. Look, they should have died right there. 
maybe it's not even up. I forgot about that nocturne fucking bug. Bring me a real challenge. What is going on right now? Cesare's is running up like that. Man, I gotta live. Let's lock it. So we had no mana, bro. She didn't die right there. Got insta slip though. She was lame. Oh, I have it now. That's too late. Jarvis support. Jarvis dropped the flag. Oh, an attack. Need serpents. At some point, I'm gonna have to buy it. The type Jarvis. You got it. The Runans. So close. I just got flash slowed by Zeri, bro. What is that? I know we have no turrets anywhere. They have six towers, but we got one. We have objective bounties though. We gotta cash out. But that Zeri slowed so much actually. Can't move. Well, these dragon wasn't up. Out. Bring me this might not be the best all melee game we've ever had. Ash out. Let's cled do into Tom. You just don't fight him in lion because you can't fight him. 1v1 without like a bunch of items, like a few items. But he's pretty useless if he doesn't snowball, so if you just don't fight him really. You're honestly chilling. Run the Baron. I'm 
so mean. Uh, I have nowhere to run though. At least I got a lot of money. Run, Senna. That's not livable. Those champs are inescapable. Zeri, Zoe, the ZE champs. You cannot outrun them. Tom did if I go AP. They tried buff. They buffed it so much. AP Kench. Really wanted people to play it. I mean, that fight went pretty well considering we were outnumbered. Never we got Darius's bounty and we killed, uh, who did we kill after that Nocturne? Pretty good. Okay, damage. Boom! Oh. Wow, that was close. Okay, he got another bounty. Let's go. Yeah, it's Cho Cenobot. Yo, peace dumb stuff. Have a good one, man. See you later. Thanks for watching. Not gonna go for the dragon. Yeah. All of that shit on that skin is like super loud. One shots me, bro. Even if it didn't put me to sleep, I would just die to the bubble. Like, I could kill him, but not with the Zoe. What do you mean, man? I have 8 KP. I feel like I'm doing a lot. We're just extremely behind, and we're all melee against this comp. Give you a clit item build update. Pretty much the normal build is, yeah, right there. Just go Ravenous into your Mythic. And I usually go crit items after. But obviously, it's situational game to game. Guys, a stopwatch. How are you even supposed to kill her, man? Apparently, she's the most desto on her team. Yeah, crit items are pretty good on Kled, and they're pretty good in general. Pretty just broken items. You could just go Maw for MR, Maw Force of Nature, and then if you need armor, you can go GA or Anduins. But usually you need like a pen item at some point on Kled, unless their team is really squishy. I wouldn't really recommend this dance, because the bleed has some bad synergy with Kled. But if they're all AD enemy team, you can get it as like a last item, like a Randuin's GA, Death Dance, triple, triple stack. Usually you don't need that many defensive items on Cloud though, or you don't want them. Okay, I got one shot. Yeah, Seric well, Ser is not a shit item in general, but it's not that good on Fled. It also stops you from building an item that is really good on you. Just Ma. You can't have two lifeline items. Just try to stop. Jump that guy, dude. Yeah. Let's go. How'd that even hit me in that moment?
Well, it's situational out of like a lot of options. Like you could either go SSG for last, or you could go Ma, or GA, or Randuins, you know, or Serpents. Like there's so many last item options. It just depends on the game that you're in. Because once you're like late game, you know, so many different things could be going on in the game that you're in. You just have to like read the situation. There's not like a best late game item. Fall off as hard as Tank Cled? No, it's not even comparable. Tank Cled is not good at any stage of the game, and with current items, it's like extremely useless. So, it's not even comparable. Crit, crit build actually scales in terms of damage. The tank build is not useful at any part of the game. Bruiser? Well, it depends on what items you're talking about. The problem with, like, Kled is that he's single target damage dealer only. So it's hard to, like, scale into late game as that kind of champion, just in general. But, like, at least with the crit items, you know that you'll at least do damage later in the game. I think Stridebreaker is really useless on him, in my opinion. People do buy it though, occasionally. I think it's pretty bad. Shit, they want that rumble, dude. Lucia is chasing. We're not ending, bro. There's only one person in our base. And she died. Trying to bait me? Yeah, Stride is pretty worthless on him. I could see the Zoe chasing. Sky ults non stop. Kid him. Now you always go Ravenous first because it's a stacking item now, so you want to build up the AD, but even besides that, it just, you know, it turns you from a champ with no wave clear into extremely good and quick wave clear. So it opens up all of your options in the game. You always want to rush Ravenous first. Also with Eclipse, you know, you don't even get the Mythic Pass until you have other items. So it's not that big of like a... it's not that important to rush. And it does damage based on their max HP, but they're not going to have much yet because it's early game. If you hard rush it. Keyboards again. What's going on, man? Buttons stay not working. Problem, brother. Zeri's top. Goodbye, bro. <laughs> Zoe Q does 1 billion damage to me, undodgeable. You got this. Hit him. No. She's, she has slash. So lame, she picked up somebody's slash. Or she just had it on a minion. 
did her W to like kill them almost. Okay, she got knocked up. Let's go. Okay. Oh. That did nothing to. Well, how come? How come when you Zoe Q, they did no damage? He's coming in. Okay, let's go. Okay, it's just supporting guard. Yeah, how come you slept her and Zoe cute her and it did zero damage? What? Hers are doing un un like believable damage. That made no sense. You have the same items. Yeah, you can rumble Q somebody and it won't wake them up any dot damage. Didn't let him cook. Who didn't let him cook? Not that double it. They have double now, that's pretty long. 20% armor MR. Must be nice. Yeah, I know. Her fucking W and just autos did a billion damage. That was insane. I could solo the Baron, but. I feel like they would somehow get to me. They would jump me. Prowlers is better when your main targets are squishy and ranged and like mobile. If your main targets are more melee and tankier, then Eclipse is better. Apparently they're trying to like remove Prowler's Clodge sometimes. Yeah, you dumped the fuck out of my deeply right there. Ulted my decoy. Grant me passage. Luckily he didn't start the cast on me already. Otherwise it would still hit me. Never settle for second. Do they just know I'm there? Bring me a real challenge. What? Decoy attack. Man, they just like dumped so much on me right there. Boom. Zoe's low. Oh man. That's uncomfortable now. Dude, and she had. She picked up an exhaust too. That's so cringe, bro. My goodness. Oh, but yeah, I know. This is this is just too hard of a melee game. Like the fact that this game is even close, and we're quad melee, it's unplayable against these champs. Fuck, they use so much on me, but the Zeri is still full health. Kind of hard to interact with her. Man, I don't know. I think maybe I should just TP'd and tried to solo the Baron while. I can just give him the soul or something. Maybe that would have been better. You got Triple Mountain is ridiculous, dude. You should not just have 30% more resist from dragons. A little ridiculous. Snake. 
can't really stop the Baron. Well, this is strange. This is, it's like a, these champs are unkillable. As if we could even kill it without a GA, dude. so long to start it. No, there's no way we can contest that. Yeah. not even walk over there. Yeah, I mean, we probably would have lost anyway, but... We rumble. Oof. Nah, this is, this is an impossible all-melee game to win against that comp. The fact that it took him 40 minutes to win is enough of a win, honestly. That was like a huge champ's leg loss. And then the dragon RNG was pretty bad that they got. It's fine, we had to, we had to hold the loss. We were too positive on the day. We had to hold, just, a, just dropped all melee real quick. Against Zoe Zeri. <laughs> they have some good champs on their team. What goes, goes to your mind? Careful, man. Alright, P0. Have a good one, brother. See ya, chump. Thanks for watching, man. Whatever, we had to lose one game. And if it's gonna be a loss, if, if we did win that game, that'd be unheard of. Like, that wouldn't even, made, that wouldn't even have even made sense. We somehow won that. Won't ever convince me Zoe's a good design. Nah, Zoe's a, easily one of the most loser champs in the game. Easily. No doubt. Can I agree with that? I play Zoe. Get away from me. <laughs> Somebody stopped right there. That might be the most offensive champ you could name, actually. If you think about it. What would actually be worse? 
Because I'm pretty sure for 95% of the cast, I wouldn't care what somebody says. I don't care what you play. That might be the worst thing you could say. That might be the most incriminating thing you could say. Nah, Draven? I don't know. I feel like most times it's like... You, I feel like in my mind, though, if someone's talking to me about League in real life, I just assume they're like a very casual player. Like they're just playing for fun. So for like Draven, nah, he's just a damage dealing champ. Like these champs are popular because they just do, you know, they're just like assassins, do damage. Cassante, he's so new though. You already made him. Huh. Would I engage 5v5 with my team very ahead? If it was an unlosable fight, that's the only time you would engage 5v5. Like, you know, you know enemy team is, like, just super behind, or you know the enemy team just burned all their ults and they're low or something. Like, if it's an unlosable scenario, that's the only time. If the game is even close to even, you wouldn't want to do it. Because you'll just probably, you know, they'll they'll block your ult, somebody tanky, and you'll just get CC, dismount, and then you're basically putting your team in a 4v5. <clears throat> so only if you think it's like an unlosable scenario would you engage. I'm gonna have to use the bathroom again, but somebody's in the bathroom. Let me help. This is what I signed up for. Evelyn? Evelyn's annoying in-game, but... It's the same. It's the same thing. In real life, I could see why somebody would want to play Evelyn. It's, I can't see the Zoe angle. They won't convince me. She's so cool, is she? Cool. Do I still play ranked. Yeah, I do every once in a while. Rarely. Rarely I play a ranked game on stream or I upload it because some people ask to see ranked gameplay. I just try to avoid it generally, but rarely I do. <laughs> I was super flat in Street Fighter. Thank you very much. Hope Zoe wins, XD. Trolled by the bubble. Trolled by dying. Trolled by getting blown away. Get trolled, kid. TP or Ghost for the second of summer, you can go either one. They're both good. They're both just good in general. TP is the safest option. And Ghost is like just an all-around good spell. Can also go Exhaust sometimes. Could go Cleanse certain matchups. All four of those summoners are good. TP and Ghost are like just all-arounder kind of spells. And I go TP this game against Malphite. I don't even know who, if it's Malphite Jungle or not. I'm assuming it is. Or I mean, uh, I'm assuming it's Malphite Top. Not sure though. Okay. Comment. Earlier, I was playing as Grass Malphite. <laughs> this is the detail big E. I actually have no exhaust against Kled Echo E. Ezra just has TP. Oh, wait, they do have an exhaust. What? I'm blind. I only was looking at their bot lane. Fucking Ari has exhaust. Okay. 
to Rengar. They'll probably invade then. This Echo. But I could probably have Pryo. Perhaps. We'll see. Damage I'm already dead. Save masters. I mean, it's it, he's probably going to invade, I assume, because I don't know why you wouldn't as Rengar into Echo. That's kind of unlivable, but if I'm around when that happens, maybe I can help. They should have Pryo at least. I wish they didn't have any exhaust. It would be a lot easier. Q chunk. Look for Q chunks. Of course I'm paranoid. I have just armor. 50 armor. I mean, has one less than that other male fight. What would that guy do different? Get one more armor. He's Q chunking me. Corrupting potion, they still got that item. Isn't baby. Well, my foot wanted to meet your ass. So cool. And I'm about to give him a shotgun wedding. Ah, ah, hey, where'd you go? This thing on my E2 damage, y'all. Before I dismounted. Flashy. Well, we got first blood. We're just, just outnumbered. But my wave is good. What up, Marquis? I know he hit us with the you will stop autoing attack. What the heck was that particle effect? I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. You know how it is. Got my coal for all these minions. I already got both of them now. Yeah, I should have e 2 out. The guide. Oh. I need to know how that guy's doing that, bro. I've never e 2 out ever. Never been able to. No, Scarl. No, Scarl. I'm surprised that Rengar like, didn't flash. Or, like, do anything to the Echo Stun, he just sat in it. No, it's just like the assault on Glory. You seen one artillery vanguard in a commando fleet action? Yes, seen them. Oh, yes, I never needed 
W. I was pushing up like crazy. No way the Ari is like top again. Holy shit, she is. What is good with this player? Attached to that ring guard, bro. Whatever. Yeah, that's just pretty lame. She gave you a plate. Not six yet, or I would go bot. They're all trespassers. We're just killing them by first. And this already knows what she's doing to this wave. Making it a little bit worse on the mouth fight. The power of Jasmine, dude. The strong ass move, man. Connected my either and she ulted, using nothing else. I could kill her, but 24 hours stream, nah, not quite. Now that woke. Unavoidable, but I got the plate. Better to get the plate and then die than just die, I guess, since he's coming anyway. <sighs> I'm okay. Nah, it's whatever. Can't live that scenario. So at least I got a bonus gold. We're about to have to turn it. No, I needed 25 more courage, so. I'd have to auto the tower five times, and then he would he would kill me anyway. Even if I was remounted, he would kill me. I'm not gonna be at 100 though. I'm with like zero health. Are you gathering? You no, know, he definitely overkills when they're winning at it. And there's gonna like only again or something. W. 
Shadow's army again. The Ulsa Tower. Just got roared down. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, well, Malphite just killed himself. But then Rengar ults the tower and then he yells at me. What the fuck? Is this supposed to be the most advanced Rengar play? Yeah, that's the best case. I I'm literally dead for free to Rengar anyway, so I don't know why Malphite just kills himself. There's no way I can outplay the Rengar. Oh. Malfa just wanted to kill for himself. Your power spike. Wayne shots. Go! Go! Oh man, not the heart still, Senna. Like whenever I play against Senna, it's like Kraken Slayer full damage. And every time I get a Senna, it's heart steal. Why does he? Why does he not just run this guy? How much damage do you think Malfei does? He's going for the cute chunks. Malfei not playing terribly. <laughs> Did you not see the dive that just happened? Oh. And 70 farm. Is that not terribly? I don't know how much worse you can do. Unless you were just straight running it. No more of that. You're upsetting the invisible badgers. Yeah. <laughs> Double infinite scaling now. That's must that must be what they think. Frost Eye strikes it back. So one health ash. Hearing the plates from here. Wet socks? What? What is that? Why did you even hear that? And then we will end the game. And they only take the tower at 14 minutes. How much is that? Yeah, they're um, not yet. Burn like every summoner. Home. You can't be lonely when the land is this beautiful. No, I mean, this guy just said that. Just 
land I ain't got around to claim. I wonder if a 1v2 would be possible for him. A Luxult? There's so many people, dude. That already missed Everfrost Charm, too. Nah, I don't think. I don't think you should have stayed. You're four manning me. Okay, the Heart Steal. Okay, that guy either took so long to realize what was happening or he just gave up. Also, oh, he doesn't even have heart still yet. What? I was like, where's the sound? Nah, I didn't mean by me. I meant like if Rengar could 1v2 me and uh, Yi. Because he's like pretty fed. He didn't, he didn't even bother trying for that. That's so shiny. Okay, cashing out. Wait, the, the Ezreal died too to the tower? Let's go. He has so much money. He just bought his Bork. He bought Bork and got a triple shutdown. Coincidence? I think not, dude. Blade acquired. My shrooms are healthy. Once you get used to the madness and paranoia. You try to buy. I don't know how we're supposed to fight though. Buy one long sword. What I mostly play normals. Ranked is pretty unfun the way the ladder is these days. It's a really inflated ladder uh, in Season 13, North America. And if you've already climbed so many times, it doesn't really make any sense to climb again on like a, a, you know, a more inflated ladder. Game quality is really bad for like long queue times. For like a rank that <laughs> means nothing now. And that guy always ults me, dude. He just one out of my ash. Goodbye. Pretty sure he killed him in one auto. Does she have her heart still? She does. Let's go. Finally. She must proc it. But he gives a 1% cruise health. Yeah, I know that the last change too. Almost every change they make makes it more inflated. Either directly or indirectly. I mean, obviously they don't care about the the ladder, like the high level ladder, because it's such a small percent of players that it even affects. Then you have to think that the average person... What, that guy flash for the auto reset or what? The average person who plays enough to be high low would probably not quit the game just because the ladder is like inflated. Challengers always just inflate 200 people. Well, it's not even 200, it's 300 people now. That was another change <laughs> that made it more inflated, but... There's a lot of reasons that it got a lot, a lot worse. Nah, the Greek pig didn't matter. I mean, we're like running it down. The game was not very close anyway. I don't think it mattered who you picked. I know, the Ari was like following that guy everywhere. That was pretty cringe. I mean, that was ridiculous. He, he was a master E. The picks didn't even matter, though. We were just, like, dying off repeat. Do you think what Riot should have... Or what do I think they should do? They can't fix the ladder at this point. On, uh, on NA, it's unfixable. There's way too many things that would have to happen, and it still wouldn't fix it anyway. So it's pretty pointless for them to even try. They already gave up on trying anyway. They made, like, Champions Q. For, like pro players because like average solo queue is so pointless to play so like none of the pro players were playing it 
But then a lot of pro players don't even play champion skill anyway. But they already like they've already completely not they're not trying to at all. They, they, they never will. There's no point. They would definitely not be able to fix it. It'd be such a waste of time and effort. Dude, Tencent has owned them for so long, though. Pros just scrim mostly? Yeah, I mean, that's already what they did mostly anyway. But yeah, they either scrim or they just don't. They just don't play at all. They're not going to play on champion skew, that is. Would have to swallow their tongue. I don't think they, they could fix it. What do you think they would do? They'd have to basically revert every change that they made. Starting from season 9. Except for like 1 or 2. Then hard reset the ladder. Then like... I don't know, there's so many things they have to do. And then have people actually ban win trading and stuff. There's there's too many things they'd have to do. Like definitely too much damage was already done for it to matter at this point. Nah, I don't think they need to put promos back between divisions. Wind train becomes more valuable. Yeah, that's why they'd have to they'd have to ban wind train because people win trade a lot now, even though it's it's literally pointless. But they're always like worried about banning for trading because they're afraid of like banning people who aren't trying to trade even when it's like it's like a really obvious scenario they, they could improve it for sure yeah But a lot of the changes they made that made the ladder more inflated, it, it was intentional. Like, they wanted it to be more inflated because then low elo players could climb more and not quit the game. Like, if you're just stuck, I can't climb out of, you know, plat diamond. They wanted people to climb easier. So it wouldn't even make sense for them to revert anyway. Why would they undo the thing that they meant to do? They don't want it to be really hard to climb. <laughs> you need, yeah, you need to not drop a single game. Or you will demote. <laughs> right in his face. Nah, there's no way he had to do it. The ladder changes. That can't be right. He has like a different, different area.
not like it matters anyway. I mean, who cares about the ladder? People who are going to play it are going to play it anyway. And the people who don't want to play it won't play it anyway. Like, I feel like it changes nothing. about a video game. Yeah, but I assume you would care about your rank no matter what then. Whether or not the ladder was valuable to you or not. The rank only has as much value as you put into it. Like mentally. Braves banned his own champ. It's only a warning shot. Doom Q the Riven. Better run it. Challenges. I don't have a Gen 4 1v1 team. I don't even know those are a thing. Kaisa's picked every game, dude. Kaisa, Zaya, it's like a lot of the same bot laners are pick banned. It's hard to ban them because there's so many bot laners that people pick constantly. That are good. I have the rough skin, he's just gonna suicide kill me. Where there are two mans each? Oh, I don't know. I have no way of knowing that. There should be more bands, but I don't know. The, the most annoying thing to me is that you, a lot of times you like duplicate bands because you, obviously you don't see the enemy team's banning. And a lot of times people ban like the same champs, so like sometimes you don't even you don't even get like ten. That's what that's what's really annoying about it to me. If it was like actually ten bands, that'd be a little bit less annoying. Is lower than if each team got ten. Yeah, a lot of times people ban the same champs, so you only get like five or six bands. Why don't you see what the other team's banning? I don't know. I think they just want it to be faster paced, like the champ select. Because you would wait for them to ban higher priority bans, and then you would ban. Okay, what up, evil? What the fuck? These picks. Too late, we're loading in. <laughs> Fuck it. This is my last game. Just run it. They might have Yumi, Cassiopeia, Kaisa, Kazante. Uh, Fuck it. You should be allowed to queue a ban. Oh, you wait for champs like you pre select bans? And what if you ban some of your team wants to play? Make it live? Yeah, yeah, they could do that. I don't know why they don't do that. Maybe the client can't handle it. But I wish there was more bands. Having... you have potentially up to 10 bands, that's not enough. I feel like... There's way too many things in this game that feel like you have to ban them. 
Like, too much of the game is just champs like now. It's so lame. It needs to be like that before. Champs like just matters too much in higher elo. Which is lame. Because there's so many broken champs that like you can't ban them all, so a bunch of them are gonna get into the game no matter what. Return to your master. What the hell? <laughs> they have four ghosts. It's actually good on all their champs too. Like it makes complete sense on all of them. Is maybe Kaisa could have went cleanse. She doesn't really need it. Yeah, not that much CC. Yeah, at least they have no exhaust. Well, they have an exhaust. I mean, if they had double exhaust. He's going to go. Let's go. The 18 armor casts. She thought it was Silas mid. Do you think this guy has armor then? Pre-select your pick too. They had. You, you, did you play back when Team Builder was a thing? You would pre-select your champ and like all your stuff. You didn't know who you were against, but I always queued that mode. The Team Builder was great. You could like see who wanted to join your team. Like, all right, this new new jungle wants to join. Decline. It was the best. Yeah, this Garen jungle with Cleanse wants to join. I don't think I'm accepting that. It was it was so fun. I love that mode. I wish they kept it. The only problem is there's no bands in that. There's normals though, but still. Yeah, you basically wouldn't get it, like, it's pretty easy to prevent getting trolled. Yeah, the Q Tanager is long because there's the other normal Q. There's two other normal Qs, Blind Pig Draftic, and then Team Builder. Like, there was. Right? I had to get rid of one of them. I can't believe uh, Blind Pig shouldn't even be a thing, dude. They should get rid of Blind Pig. How many people would we really lose, to be honest? What? You think he had flash or something? No more slums, no more dungeons. That shield was nuts. Oh, fair man. That was no ghost, though. My jungler can let him know now. She has no red buff? What's going on? So lame, their Uder just stalled me for so long. Chunked me, burned my summoner. Guess I got both of theirs, I guess. I don't know why my, my mind didn't have red buff. Both the Qs were just slow as hell. They just separated the player base. They have like the summoner icons if you played that mode. You queued a certain amount of games in a lane. I think I have all of them on my, my main account. Disgusting sweaty game that we lost and then I realized it. Oh, it was like a normal? There was one game where I queued and I thought I queued at normal, right? And then I had, I, I got into the lobby and I recognized the names, like from ranked. I was like, wait, is this a normal or a ranked? 
And I remember because I had Panzer Dragon on my team, and he said, oh, it's a normal. I was like, oh, nice. And I picked a Lowy, and they're like, bro, it's ranked. What are you doing? I was like, god damn it. I didn't. I forgot that on the client, you can literally see if it's a ranked or not at the bottom. I didn't see that. And I don't think I've used Cassante all as Silas. That was kind of bad, but I'm going to run it. Better than me? I ended up dodging. I, I like him because uh, back then, Alawi was really fucking bad. Like she's she's not good right now, but she's playable. But that was like definitely a troll pick at that time. I just liked the player. And I was like, all right, never mind. I don't want to play this now. Yeah, yeah, I remember people hating on Bard a lot. My friend loved Bard. Like, he was like, he wanted to play him every game. People would always flame him. I always felt bad. He just really wanted to play him, but people hated on Bard so much. Didn't stand that their support was roaming. Now, like, every support just roams. Still don't like them. I like having Bard, but he's like an actual like champ that you have to play for real. So you could easily be bad at him or good at him. But that's not good, because usually I want my support to pick like Lulu or something. Something that I don't have to worry that I don't know if this guy knows how to play it or not. Go for the cannon, dude. He killed me, whatever. I'd do it every day. Shove an all game. I guess I'm up a little bit of CS. The first gank was just really cringe. Delete blind queue. Anything to make queue time shorter is a good change. Take any of those. Queue times are so long in this game. Yo, come back. Alright, Udyr ult on me does mad damage. 
It just does mad damage, but I have AP too. You should just start with enough champs. Like, on, like that are temporarily given to you. Or whatever. So you can play draft. It's not if you have the Microsoft Game Pass, you can like rent, like you have every champ unlocked, but you don't own them, but you can use them, as long as you have that membership. Who would have just missed me? Man. Position my ability. I had red buff. I should have Q him when he casted his third Q so he couldn't dodge it. me at one health. Never had so much money right there. Fuck, this plate lived 20 health, man. That guy should just ult me, whatever. I have a 200 bounty for being 2 and 0. I hit her tail, by the way. Oh my god, never mind. I think I was, I was 03, was 03. I deleted that guy. Don't worry about it. Holy, I don't want to watch that. At least we got the Dragon Knight. That was like a disaster scenario. Does Yumi have an exhaust? Walk through it, dude. I even have time to use this ult. Whatever, it was about a timeout. Are the neighbor changes actually relevant? Nah, it was, it was such an irrelevant nerf. All they did was make the cooldown refund like 3% less per auto. But the way that it refunds your cooldown is that it's based on the, like, how many seconds you have left on the ability, like, counting down, not, like, the total cooldown. It goes off the current. So, 3% less of that is, like, you're, like, never gonna notice it. Yeah, Yumi is, like, she's, like, pig man level again. They're, they're decently nerfing her next patch, though. But this patch, she's, like, pig man again. She's super broken. He heals and shields a lot. She gives her ADC like 100 armor and MR late game. It's ridiculous. She's like an insane champion. And then they also made her easier. You know, if the 5 and 0 champ could have a bounty, that'd be nice. Well, that's like late game, but 
Yeah, I, I, I've seen it get to those numbers. Alright, nice. She has a 150 bounty. Uh, that's all we got. 150 for a 5 and 0 champ. Does that seem right? Sound right to me. Why not? His favorite Pokemon. Why not? Got the AoE slow, got the Rylai's Wingborn Storm, 18% max health. Sweet. Has nobody bought? Where's their pushing power? Need a little bit more gold. I hate the bounty system so much. Easily one of the most annoying things in the game is the bounty system. Just because it makes no sense. Like, just it's too inconsistent. I don't I still don't understand it. As long as she has no farm either. And they have a dragon, so it's not that. Their shackles are now my weapons. <laughs> How yeah. I used to be locked up, but I didn't care for it. Yeah, she just stop playing, I guess. Really wanted to do that. The R Flash Ghost off everything. Dude, if that guy had R, he could use R on me. And then the Yumi is like still on. So it's just sapping all of her XP. This is like their whole team, but she refuses to show up. Got you, Vi. I'm coming. Damn, where's your R? Right, she has R. Whatever, it's not that important. Now the Kaisa gun, just abandon her? Oh, what the fuck? What just happened? Kaisa kicked her out. Get the fuck off me. Okay. 
No. What can they do to me that they have not done? And this stupid cue made me turn around. If she are in or something. <laughs> you got something against made for meth? Cassiopeia? Yeah, what the fuck? Had enough. Flash ghost stars, man. Nah, there's no living that. They were a little too committed on me. Too bad I have a real bounty on me. This is my three kills. Yo, let's go. The Gale Force tech. He just dumped everything on me. That tower is not damaging her. Just, you're just healing too much. Oh, let's go for his death. It's 600 damage. How much would shield go have done? I really am. Yesterday, yesterday Judas was like, saying how Matashi was like, oh, it's healing Irelia? He's like, you mean normal Irelia? Healing Irelia. Give me the level up. I thought it was funny. I'm about to be level 16. You got all those kills for a while on the same level. Sixteen. Doesn't have Yumi on her. No way. Oh my god, I didn't make the dash. Most unfortunate day ever. Please crugs be up. Yes. What the Pushed like crazy by that Cassante. Fuck man, what is this? This is not serious gameplay by these people. Leave me alone. Alright, now I might have TP'd there, but still, leave me alone. Almost lived. I almost got my W on Cass. I could have killed her in the old, but fucking Cassante pushed me out of it. I know. Actually, Udir did the most damage to me there. Must have been his 1200 <laughs> Sunfire. What the fuck? The bridge between, what the hell? Alright, just take 10 more seconds to do that, Baron. Oh shit, I pulled up. Alright, well, at least it's resetting. Oh, we'll make it, we'll make it, right? Oh no, they're gunning it down. Oh, no, I really doesn't even have R. If they if she stole with her E, that means. Yeah. 
Okay, I got it. It's actually close. I just I got hit by that the fucking last Q by her. I couldn't move. And they heal us so much. I don't have any anti -heal. I need too many items. I heal 600 if I'm low. So it's actually more because I would have had Conqueror stack. But they they heal and he's out healing shield and me. Okay, they like they die because they try to kill you. Suicide to kill you. Also, yeah, with her ghost Yumi, she still ran into my E from like max range. That was the only chance of her dying. And we have like soul point two minutes. We took off most of their barons. That's not bad. What's super lame is that Yumi can just like attach the loot baron. And you just still have it, it's like the same thing. It's just the problem with serpents is just a hard item to buy. Like who nobody on our team can like realistically go serpents. Except for maybe Vi, but it's not that good on her, because then she's you know she's really squishy. It's just a hard item to go. It's the only item in the game that lowers shielding. And not every champion can use it well. Samir but Samir is ranged, so it's not even that effective. It's less effective if you're if you're ranged. And she needs too many other items. So it's like she she have to delay all of her other items to build an item that's less efficient on her. Like it just wouldn't be that good. Like so it just sucks. Because we don't have any champ that can efficiently buy it. Like unironically, I'd be the best champ to get it, but I even I need some other items. At least I could A we apply it as a melee champ. Irelia, yeah, but like it's like so bad on Irelia. Do it like flat pen and then she's like a lot of single target. She has AOE. But it's so bad on her. Yo, what up, feeding? What's good, man? I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. How you doing, man? What's going on? Bye. Remember me. Got you, dear. God. So run, just run, just run. Nah, I should just let me die. Well, he's the same. Yeah, they. I killed him, but then their whole team just rotated to me. I was definitely dead, but whatever. I'll TP. I have TP for the dragon. It's fine. Just get away from these people. These Vi charging Q is making me nervous. Didn't die. Okay, popped her Sarah. Her Sarahs. Are we like even gonna make it to this? If I like Lisa just now. This is to do with that. I walk up and just die. Okay. Nobody was around for it. I don't know. Whatever, I guess it's only their second dragon, but... Let me help you think for yourself. Yo, what up, the sun? Wait, they have objective... Bro, this game is not serious. I didn't even notice until you said that. This game is not serious. Yeah, they got the, they got the dragon one. I didn't even notice until Mason said that. What a meme. Yeah. Just play against that ability. Run. Feel flash like melee range on me. A mage seeker tried to test me once. Flashy. Let's level the <laughs> Nine 
Oh. First case of the law. You me alive, yeah, we'll just kill her. Good. Get her real quick. What does any of that I mean, she just flies at even really. Right, they can kill her. This is this. This is how we kill her. It was that easy. That's how we kill her. My tank of I and Rakan just like they like a one shot her, but like it wasn't even close. How did that make sense? Bro, this game makes no sense, bro. That's how she dies. And okay, nice Kessa Piyad. We end looking. Fucking on TP though. Yo, they're all focusing one minion. Dude, my storm is doing 1,000 damage to both of them. Shut down, yeah. Yeah, nah, it's actually Vex. Let's blow this rat cage. Yeah, no, I'm really sure. No, I'm really sure shut down. No, no, yeah, that's just true, that's true. This game is working against us. Working against us. The 15 kill champ on a 5 and 8 shutdown. Where's her man? At least I'm gathering storm. 700 AP. My Udi roll goes crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I know she got the 150. Don't think I forgot that. Right, we shut the vial there again, right? And then just dump everything on her. That simple. Man, I was so close, man, to winning that. Nah, that's all right. It's my, my, if I have Udyr, I like, I can almost like one before them, but. I, I don't know. I don't know if I could have flashed something. They're just like right on top of me, AOE me. Whatever, I have TP again, but I'm dead forever. Also, I just used my fucking stupid item. What is this? Going like stone plate, I guess. Nice. Can't even see what's happening. This is flashed. Man, I just wasn't alive yet. It was just like a lame time to fight. Whatever, I mean, it's still not their spell point, I guess. Best and worst ults for Sal, so I can tell you the best ones are like Echo. Malphite, those kind of ults. The worst ones, the worst ult is, is Twitch ult for sure. Uh, Lowey ult is pretty bad as well. Can't really use them at all. They're ending. Now we have super minions. I don't, I don't think they'll end. I think you guys will make it, right? Yeah, Gnarl is definitely one of his best. Do they end? I think, I think they don't end. I mean, they definitely just kill it too fast. I 
whatever. How much is there there and even change? To be honest. Goodbye, Arthur. Wait, she has something, but she has no HP. It's definitely worth it. There's no way that's useful at all. All you have to do is just click uh, the R on that champ. Wow, no way it was that simple. No way all you had to do was press R on her. No way. And I could Penta, but I couldn't move in this stupid thing. She has no no HP. What's the point of stone play? It doesn't show for any. Because it only goes off of a bonus HP. It's literally terrible. It's just for the resist, I guess. That's, there's no way it's better than like Zanyas or something. Especially against like Vile. What? Imagine if she had the Zanyas right there. We just lose. If she ulted in and then she's Zanyas, like uh, the Vi. Yeah, or, or a GA. Anything, dude. Like, is that supposed to be the most- look how much damage it just shielded, bro. Is that supposed to be the most, like, literate ADC player? Yeah, Yumi is pretty cringe. Now, that Kaiso is pretty bad. I, she's not gonna figure out how to win. If she can't even figure out how to buy items. The simplest thing in the game, I don't think she's gonna figure out how to win this. Uh, all we had to do, we didn't even like, all we literally had to do was just have Vi R and then we just all dump everything. It didn't even matter. Yeah, it wasn't even like our skill. It was just, just have Vi press R on her and then she's building bad items so she's not going to defend herself and then we just kill her. That was literally it. You just had to do it one time. Both of the times I saw her die was to Vile. And I don't- I think those are the only Vials I even saw in the game. I don't even rem remember another Vile besides those two. Actually, I do remember a third one. It was at that fight where we just like- You, you guys just like die near the dragon. She like ulted Cassiopeia or something. I'm not toxic. I'm giving advice. I said perhaps don't go with stone play. It only scales out bonus HP. How's that toxic? This is simple advice. I'm trying to help the fellow League player. Got exhausted and Cassante. But exhausting when you can't damage is the most classic like elite combo ever. People exhausting when you literally can't fight back. You can't move. Exhaust. Alright, that's that's the last one. Don't give a shit about these aces. I'm trying to help, man. Alright, that was a good run today. Both of both of my style scans were pretty good. GP game was good, and I had a couple of Cled games. One good Cled game, actually. That's good enough. The only games we lost are just not fair. Yeah, <laughs> Mouse are rolling through exhaust comp. Yeah, thank god we won against that comp. Dude, my... What, is, what even is the UD roll scaling, bro? I had I had like 700 plus AP at the end. Every time I, I UD rolled to them, bro, they were just all dying instantly. I gotta look at what the scaling is. I, I don't remember what it was. 140. 140%. And then, uh, where's the max HP? 3.5 for every 100 AP? So I had like 700 AP. So it's like 25% max HP damage plus uh, like over a thousand. Insane, dude. And then the slow, obviously. Honestly, it would have been pretty hard to win without Udyr ult because their other ults weren't really damaged. Like, I could cast ult there, I guess. But it's not as, like, not as good as uh, the Udyr ult. I can take off cooldown. 
And he he wasn't that annoying for me, because I can just tank him for the most part, like out heal him. Like I actually kinda needed his ult. Because if I just had like Kaisa Cassante ult in like a lot of fights, because I can't always take cast, I just have no damage. Yeah, Udyr, yeah, I could just always say Udyr over and over, and it does a billion. Yeah, that top lane, I, I think I could have won that too. I just, I messed up. I definitely took too long to stopwatch because I was pressing the wrong button. And then I may, maybe could have flashed something. I feel like I could have won that. Whatever, it didn't matter anyway. It was like a random ass scenario. All right, good run though. Wait, did that, did this bullshit reset? That TP, that TP was awkward. I know it still is. Okay, that's enough. Rank doll? Nah, not today. That's a weekend thing. Nah, that Kaiso is not gonna figure out how to win that game. But you could just see it in her eyes. You could see she she didn't have the path to victory in sight. She was looking at something else. All right, peace out for now. See ya. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Gonna stream again tomorrow. I'm back. We just won, bro. Just remember that. Good night. I'll see you guys later. Peace.